I'm Laurie from No Rolls Bard and welcome to Board Game Club. The first rule of Board Game Club is I'm sorry I burned down your village. Have some gold. Every week I gather group of our friends here in the NRB studio to show you just how much fun board gaming can be. And this week we are very excited because we are playing Magic the Gathering Commander, which is published by Wizards of the Coast, who have also very kindly sponsored this video. Wizards also kindly sent us these four pre-made Commander decks that we're going to be playing with in the video and see if you can guess who's going to be playing as what. We have the Grand Larceny deck from Outlaws at Thunder Junction, which is all about stealing cards from other players and using them to your advantage. We have the Peace Offering Bloom Burrow deck, which is all about buffing up your little rabbit people and giving each other gifts. We have Fey Dominion from the Wilds of Eldraine, which is all about creating more and more fairy characters who all buff each other. And finally, we have the Deadly Disguise deck from the Murders at Karlov Manor, which is all about sneaking creatures onto the battlefield and then revealing what they are later. If you want to find out anything more about any of these decks, then follow the link in the video description below to check them out and check out Magic the Gathering Commander. Now, if you saw our previous video on Magic the Gathering, then you're going to know a little bit about this trading card game, one of the best of all time. Magic casts players as planeswalkers or wizards, and they are going to be casting spells, which are all the different cards in their hand, and using mana drawn from the land to cast those spells. I'll very quickly teach you the basics of Magic and then tell you how Commander is different, because we'll go through all the other rules as they come up in the video. Each turn, players are allowed to play one land card, maximum one, from their hand. And if they have enough land cards on the board, they are able to play different spells from their hand. Spells come in a variety of flavours. They may be creatures, they may be sorcery, they could be instant spells, which you can use to counter what your opponent is doing at any time during the game. They could be artifacts, which give you permanent buffs. They could be enchantments, which are permanent spells. Each turn is split into different phases where players can do different things, and we'll go through that in more detail in the video. But basically, you can play a land, you can summon creatures during one phase, and then you can attack your opponent. When you attack your opponent, you do that with creatures you have in your control. The player then gets to choose whether or not they block that damage using their own creatures, or they try to counter it using spells that they might have in their hand, using up their mana as they go. If a player is unable to block, or they choose not to block, which avoids getting their creatures destroyed, they take damage. If a player takes enough damage to reduce their life points to zero, they lose the game. Now, Commander is slightly different because regular magic is a one-on-one -on -one affair, whereas Commander opens things out to multiple players. We're going to be playing with four players. In a game of Commander, each player is going to have 40 life points, and they are also going to have a special card in their 100 card deck. These things are beer mods. This special card is known as their Commander, and Commanders work differently to all the other cards in the deck because they sit in what is known as the Command Zone. In terms of deck building, your Commander is very important because it determines which types of cards you can have in your deck, because you can only have the types of cards, i.e. the colours of the different mana types, uh, as featured on your Commander anywhere on that card. So in the case of Tegwil, the Duke of Splendor, the commander of the Fey Dominion deck, you can only have blue or black cards in your deck. The cool thing about commanders is they are super special cards that can be used multiple times throughout a game of commander because you can summon them to the field just like any creature by paying the mana cost. So in the case of Tegwil, I have to play a blue, a black and one mana of any other color. So I would tap my black, I would tap a blue, and I tap another blue, because that counts as any other type, and I can summon Tegril to the field. If he's ever sent to the graveyard through an attack by an enemy or anything like that, Tegril just returns to the command zone instead, and I can summon him again to the battlefield. However, however, I have to pay a slightly increased mana cost of two extra mana of any colour to summon him back to the field. So there's a point at which sometimes your commander becomes unable to be summoned again because they're just too dang expensive. In commander, players are going to take turns very much similarly to how they do in regular Magic the Gathering. They're going to draw a card from their deck, they're going to be able to play one land and then cast spells and do attacks as usual. The wrinkle is that they're able to div 
divvy out all of the damage that they might do or all of the spells they might cast and all of their targeting to all of the players around the table. And they might want to do that because there might be benefits to splitting up all of that stuff. When a player's 40 life points reaches zero, they are out of the game and the last player standing is the winner. Another way to be knocked out in a game of Commander is through a thing called Commander Damage, and that is when your Commander specifically deals more than 20 damage to an opponent. Were I in a three-player game and my Commander Tegwill managed to deal 20 damage to one specific opponent, they would also be knocked out of the game, regardless of whether their life point total had reached zero or not. Taking 20 damage specifically from Tegwill will kill them. As I said, we will go through all of the flow of the game in the video in terms of all the different phases and what you might do, as well as any of the keywords on the cards, and we'll even be joined by a Magic the Gathering expert Wally from Chad Magic is here once again. Once again, thank you so much to Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring this video. If you want to find out anything more about Magic the Gathering Commander, then follow the link in the video description down below. But let's find out who is going to be our premier planeswalker, and let's find out who is going to be Charlie Brown plane walking home. So we don't book travel for losers. As we play Magic the Gathering Commander. Joining me for this very special episode of Board Game Club, it's the great and powerful wizard, John. Alakazam! It's the Sorcerer Supreme, Blair! <laughs> and it's Darren Brown, Don Allen. <laughs> oh, 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 how, how did you do that? How did I do that? Hey, look at that! <laughs> That's right. Tommy Cooper. Right. Tommy, right. Yeah, it's Tommy <laughs> Cooper. Uh, we're playing Magic the Gathering. We're playing Commander, uh, which is a slightly different variation to Magic. If you saw us play Magic on the channel recently, where me and Dom faced off. Now, Dom has gone and got his friends to play this game. Friends is a strong term. Very Colleagues. Strong term. Acquaintances. Yeah. yeah. People Dom's found who are free at this time. Yeah, I just met him once. I've never met you before. That's right, Brooke. <laughs> uh, and this, this video is sponsored by Wizards of the Coast, so thank you so much to them for making this happen and allowing us to play Magic the Gathering. We also have a very special guest with us. It's Wally from Chad Magic, who is off screen making sure oh, that we're doing the Terry Wave, oh. who is making sure that we don't mess up the rules. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'll be needing any help. But because thanks. the riffraff is here. <laughs> we have some lovely revenge. Oh, oh is, this, is this what's happening? Did yes. you say Chad Magic? Chad Magic? That's fucking great. I love it. <laughs> it's like jocks and nerds all together. I guess that's the idea. Yeah, we're just a bunch of friendly chads. <laughs> friendly chads. Fantastic. I love it. As a fellow chad, I enjoy this. <laughs> yes. Oh, hello, chad. Hello, oh. my fellow chad. Hello, my fellow chad. How do you do, fellow chad? <laughs> my chad. I am Sorry, one second. My lady. <laughs> yes. from, from laughter from Terry that I did not appreciate. <laughs> yes, Laurie, I've brought my chadliest friends to. <laughs> oh, I'm quaking in my little nerd boots. I want glasses today. I'm a target. I'm a target. Chad one and chad two. Uh, yeah, look out. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> yes. Revenge. Revenge is what's going to be served instead of that cup of tea that I never got. Oh. No. I haven't forgotten. Oh, you haven't forgotten. You, no, didn't, no. you didn't make Tom a cup of tea? There were rules about tea, John. What? what but rules? tea will be made in kind. Dom has never made me a tea, for I shall never make him a tea. You never made Laurie a tea? What? He's never asked. I oh. oh, I don't think you have my side. My good sir. Right, right, my right, good right, sir. Right. I'm talking, I'm talking One about like a chat now. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't want to get too het up before, before, we begin, before we begin the magic. Um, I am playing the Grand Larceny deck from the Outlaws of Thunder Junction set, which is a black, green, and blue deck. And my commander is Ganti, the Canny Acquisitor. And the whole point of my deck is I steal things. I'm coming for all of your cards. Don't come for mine, though. So I am playing the Wilds of Eldraine set, and I'm playing the Fey Dominion deck, who is headed up by, as we can see here, Tilda Swinton. Um, <laughs> my deck hinges around kind of trickery and Fey magics, um, a lot of messing with people and spells and counter spells, trying to kind of hold back for the start and then come in with some clutch moves later on in the day, uh, which I'm going to do. So and who's your commander? My commander is Tegwill, Duke of Splendor. Um, Flying and Death Touch, a legendary creature, they're all legendary creatures. Uh, a fairy noble, flying and Death Touch, other fairies I control get plus one on um, the two stats. Whenever another fairy I control dies, I draw a card and lose one life. Ooh. So I can sacrifice oh my loyal followers to gain more cards, but it does hurt me, it hurts me in my soul. 
more importantly, my life total. Oh, and you don't control that as well. So whenever we kill one of the fairies, you control. Oh yeah, just yeah. whenever they die. Oh, I just feel. Life. I feel. I'm a really empathetic person. I really feel it. And I am playing the Peace Offering deck from the new set of Bloomborough. I'm very excited. It's super cute, but also really mean. Uh, my commander is Miss Bumbleflower. Adorable. Can never do anything wrong. She has Vigilance, which means that if uh, I attack, I can still defend. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, she also, well, at being a rabbit citizen, she can uh, put plus one, plus one counters on a target creature uh, whenever I cast a spell. But you guys, you might get to draw a card if I do that. So that's nice. I'm, oh, I'm really nice. Very reasonable. Got, um, got our series villain here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it gains flying until end of turn, the creature that I put a token on. If this is the second time this ability has resolved this turn, you draw two cards. So I also might get to draw some cards. But you know, mostly you guys getting to draw cards, as my deck is very much about gifting lovely things to you You know all. what they say about never look a gift horse in the mouth. Yeah, you might yeah. want to look this gift horse in the mouth, but also just ignore it. <laughs> ignore the it, it's gift fine. gift is a nice pair of rabbit slippers. We can make a stew. No. <laughs> Let's have a stew! <laughs> um, I am playing the Deadly Disguise deck from Murders at Karloff Manor set. It is uh, white, green and red. Uh, we are experts at sneaking in undetected, coming in the night, and then we'll reveal our true forms, our true selves, and you won't be ready for it. <laughs> My commander is uh, Kaust, Eyes of the Glade, a dryad detective. He goes about his business solving woodland crimes uh, with his magical powers. What are woodland crimes? Oh, uh, all sorts. Um, oh, you don't uh, know. They're horrible. You know, Killing if, rabbits? He's um, a gum yeah. tree shoe detective. Uh, That's the best I've got. Very good. Depend, Very good. You know, a lot of, lot of woodland, you get a lot of, um, well, people, people taking a leak. Uh, yeah. so that's, that's a public nuisance. Plucking from Tree. the vegetable um, garden. Uh, littering. Littering. Litterbugs. <laughs> litter he comes after <laughs> litterbugs. He hunts them down for years, some of them. Um, I've yeah. been chasing you for years. <laughs> People who pull in at a lay-by and don't pay for the appropriate time mm. for the parking. Oh, Get them. People yeah. without the National Trust membership. Oh, wow. Oh. Goodness oh. me. Or British forestry um, or anything like that. Mm. And um, he punishes them with death. It's <laughs> 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 a hard-line detective. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I can play a lot of cards face down, so you won't know what they are uh, Ooh, until it's too late. Secrets. And I can, at uh, uh, appropriate times, potentially flip them. Um, and you'll be ready for one thing, but you'll get something else. Um, this uh, whole game, you're just going to be like this because you're not going to remember what you yeah. played. 100, 100 percent, 100 percent. I've already forgot what I was saying. Uh, yes, I. Uh, <laughs> where, where am I? Um, it says if you think you're being watched, you're probably right. No. Oh. Um, so there we go. I'll quickly give you the rundown of what Gonti actually does, because I haven't done that yet. Gonti's a 5-5 and says, Spells you cast but don't own cost one less mana to cast. Uh, whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, look at the top card of that player's library, their deck, uh, then exile it face down. You may play that card for as long as it remains exiled and mana of any type can be spent to cast that card. Ugh. So I can just nick your cards. That's so mean. All right, well, shall we start to get into this? Should we do a roll off to see who's going to go first? Hell yeah. That's a, is that a way of doing it? Is that That's a fair correct. way? Yeah, yeah. D20? D20. Uh, Eight. Oh, 11. No. 13. Seven. So, so I will be going first. first. Renzo to go first. So we all draw out seven cards. Okay. Which is our starting hand. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we can also mm. choose to mulligan Ooh. those cards. I am going to mulligan instantly. Cowards. <laughs> I am going to mulligan this hand because it's a little trickier than I thought. So shuffle this all in. I'll shuffle the whole deck. Don't watch me do this. It's going to take me ages. <laughs> These cards are hard to so, so big. Come to Papa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What do we got? So for my first trick, I'm going to play this. The Sunken Hollow, uh, which enters the battlefield tapped unless you control two or more basic lands. It is a, uh, a blue and a black land. Nice. And I end my turn. Whoa, what a turn. Right? Yeah. This game is racing along. Ooh. I'm scared. 
Yeah, uh, this new hand is bad, so but I can't mulligan again, can I, Wally? You can, but you just put one card back. Yeah, I can still win. But you get a new card now, so uh, it could be a game changer. I, it will be. Ooh, it's actually pretty tasty. Oh, okay. Oh. All right, but I'm going to play this first. Uh, Fairy Conclave uh, enters the battlefield tapped. Uh, I can tap it at future dates. Is that what the little arrow thing yeah. means? Mm -hmm. Tap it at future dates to add blue magic. Um, I can also spend one blue magic. Fairy Conclave becomes a 2-1 blue fairy creature with flying until end of turn. It's still a land. So it transforms into a fairy. Whoa. Uh, but it starts tapped that's, like this. That's cool. Nice. Tapper, tapper, tapper. Um, nice. Two player. All right. What's this stunning play you're going to do? Yeah, what's this? Nothing what's yet. This nothing really good yet. Hand nothing yet, you guys. There. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm expecting a one-turn win. Yeah. <laughs> 21, like 21 commander damage on turn one. <laughs> to all. <laughs> okay. I'm going to start off by playing Thriving Grove. Thriving Grove enters tapped. As it enters, choose a color other than green. I will be choosing blue. So next time, I this will always count as a green or a blue. I should be playing Sacred Peaks, the Mountain Plains. They enter the battlefield tapped. Uh, at a later point, I can tap them to add red or white magic. Mm. Nice. Pretty useful. It is. And that concludes my epic <laughs> move. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. It's time to give in to your desires, because there is nowhere left to run. There is no escape from No Rules Bad Live! And that's because we're going on tour! No matter where you are in the UK, we'll be there! And by the UK, we of course mean London, Birmingham and Manchester. That's right! We'll be in Manchester on the 13th of October, London on the 15th and 16th, and Birmingham on the 17th. And each London show will be different, so you can come to both. You must come to both. We'll have an exciting lineup of all your cast favourites, and Sullivan, all to be announced very soon, so keep your eye on our socials. Best be quick though, tickets are selling fast. The Manchester date has already sold over 40% of tickets. So don't be a complete barn pot. Get your tickets now. Right, uh, untap. Untap Lovely. my cards. <laughs> Interesting. I can't wait for the moment you give yourself a paper cut on the eyeball. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, so what I'm going to do on my turn is I'm going to first of all play the Temple of Malady. The Temple of Malady enters the battlefield tapped. When Temple of ba uh, Malady enters the battlefield, I get to scry one, which means I get to look at the top card of my deck. Yeah, and if you don't like it, you can put it on the bottom. <laughs> the scrying eye. <laughs> oh, I've scryed my eye. Oh. <laughs> No, I can't stop scrying. You can stay there, friend. <laughs> you can stay there. Uh, and then I am going to tap my Sunken Hollow uh, to use a <laughs> bloom. <laughs> no, don't tap your Sunken Hollow too much, obviously. It's uh, illegal in some states. Because it'll, <laughs> it'll make you summon the Triton. <laughs> uh, this is the Triton's uh, Shore Stalker, who is a merfolk rogue. He's a 1-1 uh, and cannot be blocked. Whoa. Be Cannot be blocked. Yeah, but he's got summoning sickness right now, so don't worry about him too much. I'm going to turn oh, it like that so you'll know. What's summoning sickness? Summoning sickness means that any like creature spells that you use cannot attack on the turn that right. they are summoned because they are still woozy from the flight or whatever it is. <laughs> uh, but there are certain keywords that can allow you to attack, like haste, which means you can immediately jump on the battlefield and start attacking. But this cannot. So another thing about the summoning sickness is uh, a creature can't attack, but it also can't be tapped to activate an effect. But it can be used to block. Ah, cool, cool, cool. All right, end of your turn? Uh, that is the end of my turn. Right. Um, so I'm going to untap my Fairy Conclave, um, and then I'm going to draw. Thank you, Blair. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, and I'm going to play Soft Cell's hottest new hit, Tainted Isle. It's going there. <laughs> Touch me, darling, Tainted Isle. <laughs> Do, 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 in the sunken do, hole. Do, 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 do. Oh, no. is it, I, I don't know if any of this is going to make it through. <laughs> my Tainted Isle stuff is perfectly clean. Yeah, it was clean. Just a great hit. Great hit it's by It's your soft dirty tail. mind that's coming oh, up with all kinds true. of horrible things. Clean out those ears, oh, Blair. So sorry. Um, uh, it does not. Uh, if I tap it, it uh, I add either clear magic or add a blue uh, or black sense. magic. Activate only if you control a swamp. Currently don't, but that could all change. So these two enter, and then I can use them if I if I so choose, right? If I have something that I can Correct. buy for that cost. I think, just for now, I shall leave it. 
All right, I untap my lands and I draw. And I will be playing. Yeah. Reliquary oh. Tower, which is a land, and it means that I now have no maximum hand size, and it taps for any colorless mana. With that, I will now also be playing my first spell. So I'm going to tap this for colorless and this for blue. And play Triskaidekafil. Triskaidekafil. <laughs> Triskaidekafil. I don't know why I Isn't know that, how to say that word. Is that a love of? Is either thirteen or holes. It is thirteen. Triskaidekafil. Yeah. yeah. Which means now I also have no maximum hand size, which is fine. I already have that. But what it, the fun bit of it is that at the beginning of your upkeep, if you have exactly thirteen cards in your hand, you win the game. <laughs> So Great. guys, what? I have a new win condition. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> it's also a 1-3 um, and has another ability of if I pay three uh, mana and a blue, then I get to draw a card. So that's Okay, well, them. let's kill Blair. That's yeah. that decided. Yeah. Great, good. Kill Blair. Kill Blair? Kill Blair. Kill Blair. Kill Blair. I'd already planned on it, but... No, so, but if we, uh, if we kill this card, that win condition mm -hmm. disappears. Yes. So it's, yes. It's his ability. Okay, great. But yeah, let's go. We can handle that. We can handle that. We can handle that. We can handle that. We That's can. my turn. A beautiful turn. Um, a beautiful turn. Right. Whoop de boo. The sacred peaks are up the right way now. Um, <laughs> let's stick this forest down. Basic, you say? Well, <laughs> sometimes that's all it takes. I'm going to awe. Oh, no, I need more mana for that. Uh, I'm going to play um, Sakura, the Tribe Elder. Tap these, uh, which is uh, one green mana and one other mana, so that's Sacred Peak Sun. Um, uh, Wally assures me it's called Steve. <laughs> so there he is. Steve. Um, I can sacrifice him to search my library for a basic land card and put that card onto the battlefield tapped and then shuffle my deck. Oh, that's nice. good. Yeah, pretty, pretty handy. Pretty handy. Send the elderly out first. So Steve just knows where forests <laughs> are. Poor old Steve. Are. Yeah. He knows where forests are. Go find the trees, Steve. It's over there. And he knows we're probably going to kill him yeah. when we get there. Steve's got, yeah. Steve's got a greenhouse. <laughs> <laughs> of course he does. He's retired. Um, and that's that's me. That's okay. Yeah. Untap the cards. Oh my god. There gosh. we go. Look. Oh, we're about. We're. Are this you is actually, about to kick an off. An attack is I'm going to attack someone for one damage. Oh! <laughs> kill, you can kill Steve. <laughs> I'm going to draw my card. Oh, I knew what this was. I've already seen him. <laughs> I've seen him in my dreams. Crazy. All right. Well. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so I am going to play the Yavimaya Coast, uh, mm. which is a land. It, um, I can tap it to either add a colorless mana, uh, or I can tap it to add a green or blue specifically, uh, and the coast will then deal one damage to me. Uh, but I'm going to tap it for colorless. I am going to tap this for, double check, trees, uh, and I'm going to tap this for water or blue, and I'm going to summon this Trigon Predator. Trigon? Uh, which oh, Trigon. is a flying creature. Whenever Trigon oh. Predator deals damage to a player, you may destroy the target artifact or enchantment that player controls. Um, so I can destroy things when you start to build up enchantments or artifacts. Good lord. Uh, and then the combat phase. Uh, I'm going to send my Triton Shore Stalker out for a little bit of combat. I'm going to push him forward, and he's coming at you, Blair. Yay, I'll take it. Yep, that's one damage. Uh, wait, how much? No, it's a one one. Oh, it can't be blocked anyway. Can't be blocked. Fine, you can't yeah. block it. Nice. Uh, sorry. Yep. Nine. So the rest of us have lovely little markers, but Blair <laughs> doesn't have one. We ran out of markers. <laughs> sorry. It's fine. And do you draw up to seven at the end of a turn? No. No, no you just draw one just per draw turn. One. Yeah. Okay. Are you done, Lauren? I am done. Okay, these are all. My not goose, not it's in, cooked. Not in need of tapping. Draw a card. Well, now. Well, now. Let's put you in there for later. Uh, I shall be playing an island to go with my Tainted Isle. This is a water <laughs> magic island. Look out, guys. I've got a real archipelago <laughs> building over here. Uh, but... O-I-S-L-E. For some reason, I was imagining, like, a rotten church. 
a tainted aisle. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. As if that's one of the land options. Uh, right, so <laughs> this is blue, this is blue, and that is colourless, unless I have a swamp, which I currently do not have. Um, nothing I can do, sadly. Oh no! <laughs> not a great hand, so I shall pass. All right, I'm going to untap and draw. Here we go, big turns. Oh, that's nice. All right, I'm going to play Sky Cloud Expanse, which taps. Uh, if I pay another mana, I can add a white and a blue. Um, mm. So that's handy to have. And I will go ahead and <clears throat> do that. So I'm going to you go ahead and tap um, Reliquary Tower mm -hmm. in order to tap that for a white and a blue to play Jolly Gerbils. <laughs> it's a creature hamster citizen. Uh, whenever you give a gift, draw a card. Don't worry about what that means yet. It's fine. I hate it. Uh, <laughs> can I have a look at Jolly Gerbils? You can absolutely have a look at Jolly I hate that he Jolly shares Gerbils. my initials. <laughs> it does. Another JG. Another JG. Yeah. Oh, it's cute uh, though. It's so That's cute. what we'll call you from now on, John. Whenever, what does he do? Jolly gerbils. Jolly gerbils. <laughs> Whenever you give a gift, draw a card. Oh god. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, and that will be me. We have Jolly gerbils. We have to. Somebody has to do some magic and kill that That's thing. It's fine. Guys, Jolly gerbils suits Jolly you. Jolly gerbils. Oh, it not, does. I like it. It's not an issue. Stole my food in my cheeks. This gerbil's not an issue. I'm really happy about it. <laughs> The gerbil's an issue. an issue. I know, we just need to kill this, this guy is first, an issue. and then we kill this guy. All right, that's me. I love that this guy is just a guy going around. There's 13 in everything! Look! There! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13! I win! He's Jim I Carrey. win! I've got 13 fingers! <laughs> um, it's Jim Carrey. All right. All right. I'm going to sacrifice oh. uh, the snake shaman. Oh. Um, I've been assured I can do that. And so uh, he goes into the graveyard. I'm sick of your snake shaman. We are as well. That's why we got rid of him. Leave my snake alive. Um, Stop shaming it. We got rid of him. And uh, that means I can search my library for a basic land card and put that card onto the battlefield tapped. But the beauty is because I've done it on your turn, it'll come to my turn. I'll be able to untap it straight away. No. <laughs> nice. Oh, yes. Uh, what am I looking for? A base, any basic land. All right. There's one. Have they thought about making this in like a sort of ring binder form? Where you can just like, you know, like a roller deck. <laughs> and then does he have to shuffle now? And now I, now I shuffle. Okay. Wow. Every, Every day I'm shuffling. Shuffling? <laughs> Every turn I'm shuffling. Um, that, enters, that enters tapped. There we go. Uh, lovely stuff. Sorry, Steve. You served a greater cause. To get a new forest. <laughs> um, all right, and so here we are. I'm back. Uh, I'm gonna untap these. Uh, draw the card. Oh, that's very specific. <laughs> oh, okay, interesting. We got over there. Oh, What's going on over here? Okay, yeah, uh, okay. All right. That's, that's worse. Uh, yeah, but I'm only attacking Blair, Dom. So if you leave me alone, I'll just keep attacking Blair. Uh, I don't know. Um, do you want a cup of tea? Yeah, I'd love a cup of tea. <laughs> What's this? What's this? Uh, what? Just because I have a different this? wing condition. Oh my gosh. Um, you, you, on the first turn, made yourself very scary, so. I um, have, like, turn. nowhere near turn. 13 cards, and I've just been going down and down, so, like, don't worry about it. Mm, you've got two ways of generating <laughs> cards there. <laughs> You draw a card, so you're on five. Next turn, you draw a card, you activate those two things, you're on eight cards. Turn after that, you draw a card, you do that, you're on 12 cards. <laughs> you're like three turns from winning. <laughs> it's simple math. All right, we've just got to kill 13, guy. Um, yeah, anyway, Jimmy 13, so. uh, I'm going to play uh, Mossfire Valley, uh, which is a lovely, a lovely place to visit. Um, this really feels like a game celebrating nature, mm. currently. <laughs> We're oh, all just, just building got... some. It's like playing parks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you so I've got the Mossfire Valley. <laughs> oh, you some... simply must at this time of year. Must. <laughs> must. Have you seen my sunken hollow? <laughs> <laughs> Stop telling me about your sunken hollow, Laurie. <laughs> um, so I'm going to spend this to tap this, which gives me uh, uh, a, a red and a green. So then I'm going to tap these two in order to play uh, this Beast Whisperer. <gasps> um, 
So now, whenever I cast a creature spell, I'll draw a card. Oh, that's sick. Ooh. It's pretty, oh, that's really pretty nice. useful. That's great. Um, I can use that yeah. Um, so there we are. He's going to whisper some beasts up for me. <laughs> uh, I think. And that's, that's pretty much that's pretty much it uh, nice. for this exciting turn of Dom <laughs> Allen's. <laughs> Another chance to untap these cards. Drawing a new boy. Boom. Oh. Or Eldritch Horror. Mm. Oh, that's fun. Uh, I'm going to play this island. Um, and then what am I going to do? Ah. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to tap this for a black magic. I'm going to tap this for a black mana. Uh, I'll tap this for colorless, and I will tap this just as an extra to summon Gonti, the Lord of Luxury. Uh, this has death touch. Uh, no. When Gonti, Lord of Luxury, enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of a target opponent's library, exile one of them face down, and put the rest of them on the bottom of that library in a random order. You can cast that card for as long as it remains exiled, and mana of any type can be spent to cast that card. I'll have four cards from you, please, Blair. <sighs> I knew it. One, two, three. And I don't get to see what you You don't get to see are. these. The Lord <laughs> of Luxury. My poor rabbits. <laughs> My tiny uh, I also exile this face down so they you don't get to see. Wrong. Oh, you can tell a Lord of Luxury. He doesn't call himself that unless he goes around eating gerbils. Yeah. <laughs> you know he's got severe gout to the Lord of Luxury. <laughs> he's, he's basically going to be like, um, um, Job of the hut when he's eating. Those, those <laughs> oh those god, oh, the little li the yeah. lizards. I like gerbils because they keep food in their cheeks, so it's like an extra meal. <laughs> like a, oh, like a Ferrero Rocher. Yeah, they're just. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a little, a little I'm going to put that one at so exile the face down, so you don't see that. I'm going to put these three back on the bottom of your deck in a random order. Uh, but that's only part one of the turn, because part two of the turn oh, is. Always a master plan. Attack! <laughs> oh no. Uh, so I'm going to attack with. Uh, both of these guys, uh, which is three hot selections of damage three. Uh, that are coming your way. <laughs> oh dear. Three Could always damage. block with Mr. 13. No. That'd be good. I mean, I can't Mr. block. You can't block can't either block. of them because one can't be blocked and the other one is flying. Oh, it's flying. Oh, great. Cool. All right. Uh, so three. Yep. So there's oh, a plan just, to, just to kill Blair before they win. Oh, I'm trying to force Blair to block with the thing that I would need Blair to block with. <laughs> but she can't block. Yeah, I mean, I mean I try, I'm trying to force Blair to at least do something, I guess. It's also just fun to... I'm already doing person. things. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You done, Lorenzo? Yes, I'm done. Okay. These uh, remain untapped because currently I'm not doing anything with them. But let's draw. Oh. Oh, well now. Wellity, wellity, wellity. He's, All right. he's drawn a well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, in a real shocking twist, I'm playing an island. I got a real. <laughs> I got a real. Whoa. Fun I got a real, real archipelago building here. Four <laughs> islands, each more useless than the last for this current <laughs> deck of cards. But I'm going to play. I'm going to tap. One, two, three, in order to play an artifact called Midnight Clock. Um, oh. So put it in. <laughs> it oh, only so tells I... one time. <laughs> yeah, apparently it's uh, midnight, yeah. Um, so I, it is, I can tap it to add um, water, water magic, mm. water mana, water mana. Blue. Blue, blue mana. mana. <laughs> Got there in the end. Um, and I can spend two blue mana to put an hour counter on midnight clock. At the beginning of each upkick, put an hour counter on midnight clock. When the twelfth hour counter is put on midnight clock, shuffle your hand and graveyard into your library, then draw seven cards, exile midnight clock. Ooh. Oh, wow. So refresh it is what you're up to. That's nice. Uh, so I'm just going to put that there. It doesn't start tapped, so that's that. Wow. So um, that's going to happen at the beginning of everyone's upkeep phase. Yeah. So yeah. Exactly. it will happen, Whoa. that will happen within so three fast. rounds of the table. If it helps, this hand is useless and there's nothing in the graveyard. That's very so, good. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I can help. With one bit of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's only, it's How do you feel one. about this clock? Because i got a guy who can remove that for you. <laughs> Better shovel, John. <laughs> uh, and it's a uh, graveyard. We all have individual graveyards, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, cool, so that starts on zero. I'll just leave that for now. Um, that is the end of my turn. Okay, I'm going to untap. Upkeep, so. which means you get one on this clock. Tick tock. Time, time is ticking away. Um, okay. 
I am going to... Alright, so I'm going to tap a uh, Reliquary Tower in order to be able to tap Sky Cloud Expanse for a white and a blue. And then I will also be tapping Thriving Grove for a green in order to play Fayborough Elder. Fayborough Elder has Vigilance. Uh, Fayborough Elder also gets plus one, plus one for each color among permanents you control. I can also tap it for each color among permanents you control and add one mana of that color. So it's basically just giving me lots of tasty, tasty mana. Um, so because of that, it's a plus three, plus three. So I also get to tap it for each color among permanents. So because I've got a blue, white, and a green, I get three extra mana, um, one of each color. And I believe I can only do that starting next turn because this will have summoning sickness still. Um, I don't believe I can give any gifts yet, sadly. I would it's love to give oh, gifts. I don't want any gifts, thank you. Um, but yeah, I think that will be... You being here is enough without it. Aww, <laughs> wow. Um, I know he doesn't mean that. <laughs> no, my, the, the register's on, online. Alright, and that is me. I don't think I'm going to attack with any And you have nothing. Rude. If you attack like, me, Blair, you'll make a weak enemy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you convinced me, John. All right, so I'm going to attack... Weak, but very petty. Oh, but what if you have an instance? Do I not risk it? I'm, actually, I'm not going to risk it. I've got it. so many instances. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, no, I like my setup. I don't want to risk any of it. No, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it for now. I'm not going to attack. That will be the weakness. I'm not going to attack for now. The conservatism. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is, I struggle a lot with it in magic. I don't know when the right time to attack is, but okay, that's me. Fantastic. I'm going to untap my stuff. Lovely. Then we go to upkeep. A little, yeah, TikTok. TikTok, <laughs> TikTok new hand <laughs> incoming. <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit of maths here. One second. Uh, oh, well, I'm, first of all, I'm definitely going to play this. Sorry? Yeah. Oh, did I? No. No, I didn't. Oh. Mm -hmm. Everything's oh. changed. Everything has changed. Everything has changed. Everything has it's changed. It's a new day. Well, I'm definitely going to play that. Uh, planes. Basic land planes. <laughs> he says that, but then it's got a beautiful city on here with a, you know, a little <laughs> park. Plaza, all sorts of stuff going on. Right, bear with me. Um, I'm just going to read this. <laughs> Thinking nice. Um, so, what am I going to do is, uh, I'm going to tap this by tapping this, <clears throat> which gives me a red and a green mana, which means I can summon Kaust. Here he is. Uh, the eyes of the blade. Remind uh, me what Kaust is again. Uh, he's a dry detective. Oh, yes. Dryad detective. <laughs> I, <laughs> meant, I didn't mean what he did for work. I meant what he does as an ability. <laughs> <laughs> he solves crimes. Uh, oh, don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, <laughs> I don't care about his personal life, Dom. I just need to know what ability he has. You got something to hide, Laurie? No, no, any, absolutely. Any secrets under your no, floorboards? No, 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 no. no. I oh, know a certain detective who might sniff them out. He's yeah. got a secret right there! Uh, detective this, Luke! This, he's got floorboards. I knew that tree. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're a murderer. <laughs> um, this was here when I moved it. Okay. This is a rental. Play with the finest teak. <laughs> um, whenever a creature I control that was turned face up this turn deals combat damage to a player, I get to draw a card. Okay. So if I brought in a if I brought in a, a, a creature face down. And then attacked and turned, flipped it over, and it dealt damage to one of the players. I get, I get another card. Sweet. Yeah. A lot, a lot of mine are about sucking up more cards, more cards, more cards, more cards. Growth, endless growth. Um, and speaking of endless growth, let's have some endless growth. Whenever I cast a creature spell, which I've just done, I draw a card. Whoa! <laughs> what you need um, is the infinite hand size the players. Have. I know, I know, and it's not over yet because I'm going to tap these. Ba-doop, ba-doop, ba-doop. That's three cards. Dom's lining up. And then I bring this in. Like this. Oh. Very secret, very secret. And that means I've cast a creature spell, which means I get to draw a card. So, uh, because I have the ability to 
cast some things uh, face down, so you don't know what they are. Um, for now, it operates as this mysterious creature because you can't quite make out what it is. You see, it's uh, wearing so it, a large trench coat. So as far <laughs> as you know, paper over his eyes. <laughs> for now, it just operates as two two. Okay. Um, but it might not be two two, and I might flip it up at the at the worst time. Oh, so no. don't rely on that. It could be really bad, guys. But it could, could be killed at two two. If, if for say a spell targeted it, you could kill that two two, or does it flip over when you kill the two two? Uh, so it's a two two creature that you can kill, but it does have ward two as well. Ah, so it costs mm. extra two. Yeah, it costs extra two to top. I yeah. see. I think I think that's all I can do this turn, except for attack with my beast whisperer. But I don't think I want to do that. Um, yeah, you can attack John for free. I could attack John for free. <laughs> It feels so much. It feels can, mean. So much I can do it about feel, it. It does feel a bit mean. Now you gotta do it. I feel like Blair is a threat. You're Just becoming a threat. Um, but I don't. Blair's know. an actual threat. Blair's yeah. an actual gonna win the game in her own way. Um, I will not be upset. I don't want to lose my Beast Whisperer. Yeah, I would. I would mark it as well. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave I'm it. Not, also, I'm, I also, John has mentioned he's got lots of things in his hand. I actually I, do have some. Sick I'd cards. be really upset if this is a bait. Uh, where he's I'm just like, oh, I'm, oh, you can kill me. You can do some damage if you want to. I'm not good enough at this game to yeah. bait. Kazam! Yeah. My beast whisperer. No, I love him too much. <laughs> <laughs> Look what he's whispered up for yeah. me. <laughs> These beasts would be completely untamed otherwise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of just, just someone shouting at things. Um, <laughs> and that riles the animals up. Yeah. <laughs> we all know. It's counterintuitive. Mm. Uh, so no, I'm going to end my turn there. Thank you very much. Thank okay. you for the offer. Of giving you a good pounding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to untap my cards. <laughs> you leave my uh, sunken hollow alone. <laughs> upkeep. Upkeep. Tick tock. Oh, oh, ding dong. Tick tock goes the clock. <laughs> Here comes a card for Laurie. And I will play it immediately. Whoa. I will play this Swamp. Oh Ooh. my gosh. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, tap. Uh, I'm going to tap this and this and this for. Uh, Colourless, uh, and then I will tap this one for green in order to summon Kazor, the Ruthless Stalker, uh, which is partnered with Ukima, the Stalking Shadow. When this creature enters the battlefield, target player may put Ukima into their hand from their library, then shuffle. Whenever a creature you uh, control deals combat damage to a player, put a plus one, plus one counter on that creature. So I may look for Ukima, I'm not going to. Okay, cool. I'm going to attack with these two cards. Just those two? Yep. To you, Blair. Uh, so that's three damage. Three damage. Just take it. Do Great. Want, do you want to attack with this guy? No. He's useful. <laughs> okay, so I've dealt you three damage okay. using these two, and because of Kaza's uh, ability, whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, put a plus one, plus one counter on that creature. So these Whoa. two get a plus one, plus one. Thank you. Oh, wow. <clears throat> uh oh. Mm -mm. Mm. Uh, and that is the end of my turn. All right. I'm going to find the four later because I'm about to upkeep. It was three, it will soon turn to four. So I'm going to tap a tap, uh, untap a tap, tap a. Um, and then I'm going to draw a card. Mm. Oh, very interesting. And then, so this is now on four, my clock as I upkeep. Um, I'm going to finally play a card. Whoa. Yay. Oh Slow down. I know. Look out, guys. <laughs> but it is a good card. It is. So I'm going to play. Uh, I'm going to tap this for one blue. That is a colorless. Uh, doesn't really matter. This costs one blue and four colorless. So there's my cool. five. Nice. It is Archmage of Echoes. It is a five cost or four plus one blue. Uh, creature, Fairy Wizard, Flying Ward 2. So we have to play two extra mana oh. to, to, cast, to cast spells at it. Yeah. Um, whenever you cast a fairy or wizard permanent spell, copy it. Copy becomes a token. Wow, uh, that's, that's crazy. crazy. And that's flying, but he's a bit tired from being summoned. Oh, so he's sweepy. not tired. He's, so you're he's just going to double up all your creatures. Well, specific types of creatures, but yeah, yeah that's nuts. Uh, and that is the end of that chapter. All right, I'm going to untap. <clears throat> Draw a card. Tick tock. Well, I think it's about to be the upkeep phase. Is that right? Yep. Just did it. Ding dong. Um, is the upkeep when you un... It's after untapping. After untapping. Got it. Thank you. All right. Um, I'm going to play Hinterland Harbour, and because none of these are actually forests or islands, it comes in tapped. 
But that's all right. I've got my lovely little Fabro elder here to give me lots and lots of tasty mana. Um, so here I go. I'm going to use this as colorless and use this as all three to play Tamiyo field researcher now this is a planeswalker Ooh. so this works a little bit differently than other creatures um as you see it doesn't really have a power or toughness it just has a four um i will be raising and lowering that number as we go using these little arrows here to do different effects so if i were to do this plus one i would go up to five and it gives me this ability i'm going to do it can i i can't do that right away can i yeah. I can. You can do it right now, yeah. Ooh. All right, I can do that right away because it's a Planeswalker, so that's tasty. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, do the plus one action, which is choose up to two target creatures until your next turn, whenever either of those creatures deals damage, you draw a card. Ooh. Yay, yay, yay. So I'm going to choose. I mean, these two seem to keep attacking, so I'm choosing those two. Cool. So if they attack, I draw cards until my next turn. Um, so that's my first thing. Um, so this number at the bottom is loyalty. Basically when I use any of its abilities, that number will go up or down um, for you guys as well. It's the number that you are attacking. So it's kind of its health as well in, this, in a way. Um, but unlike normal creatures, that number will not go back up okay. at the end. So you can just kill it. Um, yeah. Um, <sighs> Anything else? So it's like a mini player character. Mm. Mm. I don't think I can do anything else, so that will be me. Okay. <laughs> uh, right then. Oh, oh. It's mysterious it's mystery. It's, it, it's you mustn't mystery. look, you mustn't look. Uh, tick tock. Tick tock. Uh, lovely. Let's have a look at what we've got. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What on earth is going on in this one? Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my! Oh my goodness! So much, so much going that. on in this card. Um, <clears throat> oh, oh! It's, it's expensive. <laughs> expensive. <laughs> this is expensive. Oh, expensive. Oh. So this is coming in. Boop, boop. Lovely, lovely land. So much land we have now. <laughs> All this beautiful, beautiful land. You wouldn't believe. You wouldn't believe. I just need to check what everyone's got uh, over there. Uh, those are creatures. Lands. What's that over there? A flying creature. What's your clock? An artifact. It's an artifact. Uh, creatures, creatures. Uh, no water. artifacts over here. All uh, right. <laughs> I'll be amazed if I get chance to play any of those. Um, <laughs> How many cards you got in hand? Like? One, two, three, four. Oh, look, I'm not a threat, you guys. Awful. Calm Awful. down. Calm yourself. As Blair Sorry, kicks John. me under the Sorry, table. John. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to tap three dealies. Like this. And this will come in like that. No, oh, a and, secret! And, uh, it's, uh, it's a morph. It works exactly the same way. So it works in exactly the same way. Uh, <laughs> but just it, instead of being hard to work out because it's all mysterious, this is like, oh, what, what's going on there? <laughs> looks like, uh, it's like fire. Yeah, it looks like my sunken hollow. <laughs> yeah, some sort of like get that checked fiery out. worm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's and why I'm not feeling hungry. <laughs> I don't think I can do the other thing I want to do. That would be, that gets me one, two, da, da. No, I can't do it. Ah, but I, I cast a creature spell, so I get another card. Nice. Uh, so I'm going to tap. Uh, I'm going to tap this to tap this to ta and tap this. <laughs> uh, the chain reaction of lands tapping. And that means I can bring this geezer in as well. <laughs> Um, <laughs> who's another? Who's another morph? And I've already forgotten what's underneath all of these. Yep. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> so I should have written them on the, my, my hand. Is that yeah. revealed if and when we attack them? Uh, no, if and if and when I decide to reveal them okay. through the powers of mana. Uh, my my 
my commander also his abilities I, I can tap him to f reveal them for free otherwise I have to pay a mana cost to, okay. to switch and also you get to draw a card and I get to draw a card I wish I had that card that'd mm. be real nice lovely Great. stuff makes sense to attack John oh charming because um, it ah, just does just does yeah don't go for it because uh, what's your thing there that's this is 4-4 four, four. Four. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So you're gonna, are you gonna use your big guy? You're I'm gonna, gonna tap him to. Yeah, wake him brace on. yourself. You're gonna have a really horrible time here, John. Okay. This mysterious creature's coming towards you. Mm -hmm. It's attacking you. <gasps> um, and I'm going to tap Kaust to reveal it. And you just thought it was a mysterious visage. What? Two, what two. Truth no, lies much, behind this mysterious much visage. Much horrible. <laughs> it's a nervous gardener. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, you can't oh. sit there. Those roses are gone. My hydrangeas. <laughs> um, but when nervous gardener is turned face up, I get to search my library for a land card with a basic land type, reveal it, put it into my hand, and shuffle. Oh, hey. Aren't you happy? Hey. Aren't you happy I did this? Oh. Longest turn in all of Christendom. <laughs> All right, you're gonna. I didn't realise we were playing against an actual ent. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh yeah, that's me over here. <laughs> oh yeah. So is that is Gardener used? Are you attacking? No. That happens uh, yeah, later, I'm, just, right? I'm just gonna do this first. Oh. All right, I'm gonna. Can I block with a with a summon second? Sure. All right. Well, my Archmage of Echoes is going to <laughs> blow Maud into the next millennium. <laughs> okay. So well, when this works is you commit this. This is four uh, four power, and this is four. Uh, that's 2-2, two two, right? Yes, yeah, so this is 4-4 four, four and this is 2-2, two, two, which means 2 damage is dealt over here, but that doesn't go over 4, so this remains alive, and this passes away. But I have to reveal this to you. It's a basic forest. Wow. And then it goes in my hand, I believe. Was that the...? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So there we go. That's my go. Okay. Untap my cards. Right. Upkeep my fade. Tick-tock Tick -tock. to 7. Tick-tock to 7. Let's have a look, shall we, and find out what we're getting this turn. Is this your new card, right? Yeah, it's great. Oh, good. <laughs> it's really good. Um, uh, so let us use all of my stuff. So I have uh, one blue, one black. Uh, tap this boy for a green. Tap this for colorless. Tap this for colorless to summon <gasps> Gonti, who's oh like, who the hell are you, Gonti? I'm the real Gonti. Uh, oh, Gonti. Yeah, I've got two Gontis. Uh, one, two. So, spells you cast but don't own cost one less to cast. Whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, look at the top card of that player's library, then exile it face down. I can play that card for as long as it remains exiled, and mana of any type can be spent to cast that card. So, Christ. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, let's have a little think about this then, shall we? Um, I am going to... I feel like I need to remove your planeswalker. Can you can you death touch it? So I can I can technically kill your planeswalker though because I can commit both of these to the fight, but you would get to draw a card for each of them. Uh, you are currently on. If you do, Wait, how many cards you got? Uh, one, two, three, four. Four. So you've got up to six. How much oh, yeah, do I care you... about Blair drawing cards? I think Not because they, because they've only got four cards, it's fine for now. Yeah, I've got. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to commit both of these to attacking Blair. Nice. Um, and I'm going to commit this to attacking John. Are you just attacking me directly? I'm attacking the Planeswalker. You are attacking I'm going to attack the Planeswalker with both of these to wipe it out, because I give him five damage here um, with these. And I will be attacking with Gonti uh, on John, who is a 2-3, but he has Death Touch. So if, he, if you block, he will mm. kill that. Um, or you can just take two damage. Do I draw the cards first? It's when they do damage. So, oh, it's when they do damage. So yeah. it will already be dead by the time you draw. So you'll get your cards, but your planes will okay. die. Yeah, I shan't. I shan't block. Okay, so you're going to take two damage. Take my two damage. Uh, which means, uh, whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, look at the top card of that player's library, then exile it face down. So I just get to look at that. Thank you. Oh, hope it wasn't something good. Was it something good, Larry? Pardon? Oh, I also, I also do this because I'm then going to get a one, uh, a one-one counter on this guy. And then two oh, attacks for your planeswalker. Um, and I can't block that with other things, can I? Uh, no, because this is unblockable this is and this is flying. Yeah. So unless you have reach. All right. Well, um, I can't do anything about that. So this 
sadly dies. Farewell. <laughs> uh, that is the end of my turn. Okay. I'm gonna untap. Mm. Untap these cards. Use the magic again. Oh, actually, sorry, I didn't. Did I play a <laughs> Norwich did a whole sorry. song. Sorry, I didn't play a mana last. Use turn. Use the mana again, I should say, not magic. Yeah. So I'm I didn't not... play. A, I didn't play a land mm. last turn, so I'm going to play fetid pools as well, just to get it out of my hand. Great. If that's okay with everyone. Okay, I'm not doing the song again, Laurie. But are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Sorry. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Untap your cards. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to draw. Come on. Yes. Yes. I'm playing a swamp. All right. Finally. <laughs> Finally, well some sweet. Yeah. We're off to the races! Finally, me and Shrek are hanging out in the swamp, um, which <laughs> means I can, party. I can do so much cool stuff now. Oh, you're, a, you're in big trouble, guys, particularly oh. you, Laurie. Um, yeah, uh, to be fair. You just attacked me, didn't you? Only to get a card from you. Oh, well, that's, I didn't realise it was to steal that's from worse. me. That's worse! That's much worse! <laughs> <laughs> I think that sounds really reasonable. No! Okay, I'm gonna tap, I'm gonna tap uh, Swamp. I'm gonna attack, I'm gonna tap one water, sorry, one blue. And tap black. John, speak like a human. I'm gonna tap black, <laughs> tap blue, and then it's a colorless one. Speak like a man. I'm gonna tap my tainted isle, <laughs> and guess who's in? Tegwill, the Duke of Splendor. Um, He's gonna fly in, but he's a little bit sick from being summoned. So I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna turn him that that away. Um, now, supposedly, whenever I cast a fairy or wizard permanent spell copy, I'm gonna assume I can just have two of my legendary creature lore. Is that right? Well, so you would make the copy of it, but because you're only allowed to have legendary creatures, uh, one of each legendary creature of a specific name, so. You would make a token copy of Tegwell, Duke of Splendor. Uh -huh. But because your token has the same name, you can only have one on the battlefield, so you're going to have to immediately sacrifice it. Can I um, can I change Tegwell's name slightly and have two? Well, no, that's how I've done it, which is uh, <laughs> exactly. Gonti, Lord of <laughs> Lord of Luxury, and Gonti, uh, the Canny Acquisition. This is actually Togwill. Um, <laughs> Togwill. <laughs> All right, so imagine we created a copy and then it uh, sadly died because Tegwill is a jealous and vindictive <laughs> duke, and there can be only one. So with Tegwill, uh, other fairies you control get plus one uh, for both stats. So this is now a five five. Yep. Um, and whenever another fairy you control dies, so Tegwil's clone just died, <laughs> killed by Tegwil. Um, In the womb. <laughs> you, you draw a card and you lose one life. So I'm going to oh. draw a card here. Lovely. And then I lose one life down to 37. Um, so I'm on seven cards. Uh, did you upkeep as well? I did. You did, up, I did upkeep while I was singing my song. I TikToked. <laughs> um, okay, I think I'm going to... Oh, and I can attack, right? Yes, you can. So I'm gonna attack Laurie. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I thought you were pointing at Dom. Yeah, no, no, I'm pointing at Laurie. Laurie just yeah. attacked me. So in an act of petty vengeance, I'm gonna attack you back. <laughs> He's gonna with, do with five five. Five five. I'm just gonna take it. You're gonna take it. Yeah. Take it like a man. Okay. Uh, so I'm tapping that because I'll just take five damage. I'm just, fine with that. I just battered Laurie for five. And that is the end of my turn. All right. Upkeep TikTok. Oh, thank you. Okay. What do I get? How many cards you got in your hand, Blair? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. 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 <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Um, I'm going to play a Temple of Enlightenment, which uh, comes in tapped, but when it enters, I scry one, so I get to look at this top card and see if I like it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll keep that. Okay. I think it's time to bring Miss Bumbleflower in. I think it's time. <laughs> so I'm going to tap this, which has all three. And let's tap you because you're colorless. And Miss Bumbleflower will enter the field. So just to remind everyone, she has vigilance. Um, and when I cast a spell, target opponent draws a card, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. What are you doing, Dom? Uh, it gains flying until end of turn. If this is the second time this ability has resolved this turn, you draw two cards. So I, <laughs> oh, job. No. I'm going to play this card, no. which requires uh, one, two, three blue magic. 
This is called <laughs> theoretical duplication. It's very appropriate for a rabbit. Um, <laughs> whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under an opponent's control this turn, creates a token that's a copy of that creature. So I you got so your own bumble flower. <laughs> <laughs> so this goes into my graveyard, which I'm going to put there. Mm -hmm. Graveyard. Do you, do you want this rabbit? To remind you? <laughs> oh, so cute! <laughs> all right, and can I confirm? So I can do all of the things that yeah, Miss Bumblefly did. Anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I can do yes, anything he better than can. you. Yes, yes. <laughs> we need to um, kill this guy. She has summoning sickness. Yeah, I see mine has also summoning sickness. Yeah. yeah. This is ridiculous. This is ludicrous. <laughs> I started the game with that card and I kept wanting to use it. And I'm like, I'll wait for something really powerful to come out. And I thought I'll use it on, <laughs> use it on Bumbleflower. The thing that gets rid of enchantments. I want to get rid of that. Why? Because it's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> What have you got? Nothing. You've got cooking. Nothing. I don't <laughs> Just know. Nothing. I've got nothing cooking. I don't know. I've got like, this is it. Right. <laughs> this is my big play, unfortunately. This is the shape of things. Oh, my big play is this. I think, I think this is the way to go. That's so scary. Okay, I think that's me for now. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Tick tock. Okay. It's me? Yes. Okay. Untap, put it up, untap, put it up, untap, 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 untap you, untap you, untap you, and draw a card. <laughs> <laughs> what a great name. That is a fantastic name, and I really hope we get to see him. Um, <laughs> just for the name. It's not that good a card, but I think yeah. it's absolutely hilarious. Uh, oh, no, it is pretty good. <laughs> um, uh, so, too advanced for me to use. <laughs> um, so I'm going to play this land. Uh, fortified Village. As Fortified Village enters the battlefield, you may reveal a forest or plains card from your hand. If you don't, Fortified Village enters the battlefield tapped. But luckily for you guys, I do have somewhere in here a forest. So that comes out as well, right? Oh, just reveal it. <laughs> wow. Do you believe me now? Do you that believe is, me? That is a great photo. Whoa! <laughs> Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Um, and now the real game begins. <laughs> Choosing what to do. The, the real game is playing a card face down, drawing a card, playing a card face down, drawing a card, playing a card face down, drawing a card, forgetting what all the cards are, um, <laughs> having not thought about your turn before your turn begins. <laughs> I've thought about it a lot. There's a lot to think about. I haven't finished thinking. Yeah, two of these, and uh, one, that gives me two, because I can turn that to that. So that's two, three, four, five. Oh that's, big. Uh, that's big. Which brings this guy out, the Hooded Hydra. Ooh. So he's got uh, five because that's what I used to turn him uh, to bring him bring him in. Um, so uh, that's what you need to know about the hooded hydra. Don't worry about it, guys. Everything's fine. What, what does um, it do? Oh, it'll kill you if it can. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's got currently it's got five heads. So um, oh. I tap as much as I can to bring it. Uh. So as long as I tap two forests. I can tap a bunch of other stuff, right. and that gives it its power. So it's currently 5-5. Five, five. Um, it, it does one, something two, when three, it dies four, as well. Yeah. What happens what does when, it it dies? when it dies? Uh, when it dies, uh, it'll create snakes. Oh! Uh, it'll, at the moment, it'll create five snakes. Is that what we're just five calling snakes. loose hydra heads? <laughs> yes. Like, that's a snake I now. Think, I think that is the... <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. the that's the not idea. how it works. <laughs> that that's not how it works. <laughs> Um, also, that was whispered into existence by my Beast Whisperer. Oh, God! Um, oh, my goodness me! Terrifying! Uh, but don't worry, guys, I'm sure Jeez. everything's fine. Did you get a card for playing a creature? Uh, I did, I got my Beast Whisperer card just now. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Um, and now, I'm just going to check what this guy was. Oh, yeah. Now I'm going to attack! <laughs> Uh, what have you got going on over here? I'm tempted. I'm, I'll, I won't he is lie. He's so much more scary. You reckon? Yes. You just have a win condition, though. I've not like I'm nowhere yeah, near my fine, win condition. Yeah, that's fine. But I, yeah, but 
<laughs> we don't know what cards you've got. I know. Well, I know for a fact that you've got cards in your deck that just give you three cards. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to attack you with this one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> don't worry about it. I. It's fine. Do you want to block? Ugh. Don't worry about it. Ugh. So right now it's a two-two, but um, you can flip it up, and it could be something much worse. Ugh. Or it could be a nervous garden. <laughs> yeah. Dom's offering you uh, the chance to play an exciting game of gardener or hideous hell beast. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. People. That's fine. You're just going to take the damage? Yeah. All right. Two damage? Um, uh, no, because I'm going to tap Gaust and uh, you're actually being attacked oh. by um, a root elemental. Oh! Uh, which is 6 5. Oh! And when. Oh uh, let me read this right. When root elemental is turned face up, I may put a creature card from my hand onto oh, the battlefield Jesus. directly. That's and crazy. I think I'm going to put this Scourge of the Throne out here, oh, which God. is a dragon 5-5. Uh, five, five, um, does some awful stuff. Oh, but don't worry about that. Okay. I, I won't use that on you. That's fine. <laughs> I'm going to um, tap this to be able to tap this and also tap this. Um, I'm tapping all this to summon an instant. However, this will happen first. So whenever I cast a spell, target opponent draws a card. Are you... Do I choose that now? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Go on, John. Oh, Have a card. You. That's very kind. Um, and now I put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. I will be putting that on this bumbleflower. Uh, it gains flying until the end of the turn. If this is the second time, which it's not, so we don't need to worry about that. So now mm. Miss Bumbleflower is a 2-6 with flying. Great. And the instant that mm. I'm playing is uh, you gain one life for each creature your opponents control. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to you this turn. So that 6 is not happening to me. Fine. And I will in fact be gaining health. So how many creatures from, from the whole board? Use? Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six for me. Six. Does, it, does it count if they're tapped or untapped? Doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Creatures yeah. you control. Yeah. Six. Six. Mine's three. Nine. Uh, five. Fourteen. So I'm at... Can you go above 40? Yeah. So I'm at... God. <laughs> 14, you're on... Uh, 47. 47. Thank you. Oh my lord. So I'm on 47 now. That's unbelievable. Horrible. Yeah. It's but not, I got what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Which was my free dragon. Yes. My free dragon. <laughs> cool. Lovely. Thanks for well, that, that was you're really very welcome. I thought that worked strange. out pretty well. Nice. No one got hurt, and I got a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll kill you all with no! it next turn. <laughs> no, I won't really. I'm just happy building my little zoo it of nice, creatures. It is nice, isn't it? I yeah. kind of don't. Yeah. Kind of don't want to kick the kick do. the bees next. <laughs> is it me? Um, I don't think there's anything else I wish to do. Oh yeah, wait. You just spent all your mana. Wait, because. Um, oh, you didn't take any damage, so I don't get to I don't get to draw my card for my thing, which you know, I'm really annoyed about, and you will pay the consequences for. <laughs> oh, um, I'm well, curious. We just had a handshake. Well, handshakes oh. can be wiped away on the shirt oh, like this. You no. see? Here we go. Disgusting. Untapping the card. <laughs> Upkeep in the phase. TikTok. TikTok, baby. TikTok. TikTok next turn. Yeah. That's good. Draw a card. What if I don't want to? <laughs> I've got a sick hand now. Oh no. <laughs> Shit. You can make a deal with Laurie. Uh, okay, so first of all, uh, I'm going to tap uh, this boy and this for basic to use this that I stole from Blair, which I can use for one less because hey, I have Gonti, yeah. uh, to cast uh, Secret Rendezvous, which is sorcery. Uh, you and target opponent each draw three cards. John, have three cards that you're going to shuffle back into your deck. <laughs> That's uh, so does, this, does this go to me or does this go to you? <laughs> there Yay, you go. Have that back you. to your graveyard. One, two. Oh, I wish I had that. <laughs> then I will. I guess I'll just do this. I'm going to uh, tap that for black, uh, that for black, and this one for colorless uh, to summon Nashi, the Moon Sage's Scion. It's a legendary creature. It's a rat ninja. It has ninjutsu, which uh, costs me four mana. 
Uh, and I can return an unblocked attacker. You control two hand, put this card onto the battlefield again from my hand, uh, tapped and attacking immediately. So it's an extra attack. So uh, you can only do that when it's in your hand. Oh, I can only do this when it's in my hand. Yeah. Okay, fine. So I would do that with another yeah, card. Exactly. Oh, that's fine. Uh, whenever Nashi Moonsage's Scion deals combat damage to a player, exile the top card of each player's library. Uh, oh, so both of us. Until the end of the turn, you may play one of these cards. If you cast a spell this way, pay life equal to its mana value rather than paying its mana cost. So it's another way of me getting uh, extra cards. I'll also tap this final one for a blue to play the Slither Blade. I'll put these down here so we don't. Which is a 1-2 uh, Slither Blade. Can't be blocked. Okay. And now, <laughs> attacking time. Uh, let us do. Um, uh, let's do Trigon Predator at Lair. Uh, and the Triton Shorestalker, I'll send John, which can't be blocked. Uh, how much damage does that do? Two. Okay, so there's nothing I can do about it. And Blair, three for you. Uh, but when that happens, so if you're because you can't block it, I, I'm going to get to put plus one counter on both these guys, so they go up to plus two. Uh, I also get to exile the top cards of both your decks, so oh, I'll have this, please. Thank you, and I'll have that, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh dear, silly. I don't know what that card is because I saw it. Oh my god! <laughs> All right. Jesus. He has a card with Trample now. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, if he attacks us with that card, even if we block it, the rest of the damage will still go to you, so it doesn't... It's, yeah, it's not nice. Okay. All right, you done, Laurie? I am done. All right. So, first of all, I'm going to untap all of these. Phase one. With a yawn and a stretch, my lovely boys are back in action, including my clone rabbit. TikTok. But then TikTok, this goes to 12. <laughs> what a weird card. Uh, when the 12 hour counter is put on the midnight clock, shuffle your hand and graveyard into your library and draw seven cards. Exile mm. midnight clock. Which means you just move it out of the game board completely. So move that out. <laughs> Stupid card. Uh, but I do get my duplication back. That's very good. Ooh, that's good. Uh, I also had an incredibly good hand. Before before we played, uh, Wally told me that there's one card that was so good it was uh, going to completely affect the game. I just picked it up. But now no! it's going back in. <laughs> oh, <Bye>. oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no. What a crock of poo. Oh, well, I couldn't share the gift with Blair for drawing cards, so... God, sorry. Yeah, I'm I've not been able to give any gifts yet. All right. Got my seven new cards. Let's see what we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, okay, okay. Okay, okay, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm quite excited yeah, for my fine, next turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it'll all go wrong. Someone will be like, oh no. <laughs> yeah. I'm adding in the Temple of Deceit, which Ooh. is a land card. Uh, when it, it enters the battlefield tapped, when it enters the battlefield, scry one. The Ooh. Temple of Deceit's Ooh. probably got an isle of, what's it called, a sticky <laughs> isle or something? <laughs> yeah. tainted, tainted, tainted isle. The tainted tainted isle. So I look at, yeah. the scrying is looking at the top card. Yeah, yeah. and the signing, if you want it. You can either yeah. keep it or put it, yeah, put it on top or put it in the... Put on the As in, deck. keep it by leaving it there? Yeah. yeah, so you'll get it next turn. You know oh, what's coming up. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, I'm just going to try this because it looks fun. I'm going to play, I'm gonna, so I'm going to tap this for one black mana and then... Uh, uh, colorless and blue mana. Play Nettling Nuisance, which is a fairy rogue flying. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. So, what does that do? So, you target somebody's draw a card and you roll plus one plus one counter on any of the creatures. All right. How many cards have you got, Blair? One, two, three, or five. Okay. You can draw a card. <gasps> Thank you. And then I get a plus one. Counter, yeah. Here you go. Thank you. And that can go anywhere? Yeah. I'm going to put it on my Duke of Splendor. Um, so, Nettling Nuisance. Where, whenever one or more fairies you control deal combat damage to a player, that player creates a 4-2 red pirate creature token, which looks like this. Wow. Mm. Creates a 4-2 with the this creature can't block this token is goaded for the rest of the game 
And if I understand goading correctly, they have to attack, mm -hmm. but they can't attack me. Is that yes. right? <laughs> That's so ridiculous. If I attack you with this, uh, an angry fairy. pirate appears. <laughs> Sorry. Whenever one or more fairies that you control deal combat damage to a player. So is that to the player character rather than a yeah. creature? So you can you can make three pirates in a turn by attacking the three of us, basically. And also, you get a clone of that because that's a fairy. Okay. <laughs> because of your uh, yes, of course. Will. So you need a you need a token, a little a little fairy token. Okay. Yeah, copy token. Oh yes, copy. So yeah. does that just slide, sit under there. Maybe just slide it under. Yeah, that's fine. That's ridiculous. Good lord. Um, okay. So that's that. Um, do I do anything, anything else for Mrs. Rabbit? Uh, nope, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's okay. time to start swinging, guys. Okay, all right. Uh, and then I think... So it's probably a good idea to save these for use later in the turn, I would say. Is that fair? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to tap uh, one, two. This is an arcane signet. It is uh, com just needs two uh, mana of any type. Uh, tap to add one mana of any color color in your commander's color identity. My commander's color identity is blue and black. So that goes straight in, and then I can tap it. And you also trigger your commander. Sorry, Ms. Bumbleflower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So because of that, I yeah. trigger Ms. Bumblefla uh Blake, you can have another card. Wow, thank you. John. And you draw some cards, John. <laughs> and this can go anywhere? Yes. <laughs> Let's pop it on Nettling Nuisance. Yeah, you draw two cards now. <laughs> Actually, no, it's, gone. it's gone there. Can it go on the same? Yeah. You know what? I'm going to keep my commander nice and strong. Two cards. Oh, God. Goodness gracious. Uh, so I'm not going to attack with Bumble because only an attack of one. But their defense of five is pretty strong. But I think probably best to keep yeah. around. Um, so I'm going to attack with both my fairies. This is a four, five because of the two plus one, mm -hmm. and this is a five five. It yep. gets a plus one because the fairies, these are too tired from being summoned to attack. Yeah, um, so I can choose to attack different people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, for no particular reason, I think. Oh, this is flying, right? So the thing is, I don't have anything flying that can block at the moment because my flying creature is tapped. Um, Blair have anything doesn't have flying. anything flying. Dom does have a flying creature that is Dom's free is to five. block. So, Dom's is five, five. And Dom's is 5-5. Five, five. So you could also kill Dom's very scary dragon or force him to commit it if you wanted to, or you'd that attack. That wouldn't through. be wise, John. don't particularly want to mess with Dominic Allen. I'm going to attack Blair one and Laurie one. Uh, this one is attacking Blair. A 5-5. Five, five. Five. Uh, no, sorry, this one's attack. Oh yeah, Blair's got loads of health. This yeah. one's attacking Blair, uh, and this one is attacking Laurie. Okay. Cool. So that's and so they turn four for me. tapped because they're attacking. Is that right? Yep. yep. Uh, Laurie's going to take commander damage of four from being attacked mm. by my sweet commander. Blair has been attacked by a regular fairy. Yep. But they're both fairies, which mean they both, even though these are summon sick, they still, it's still the power still works. Yeah. You, Laurie, <laughs> get, I'm a, I'm get happy an angry this. pirate that has to attack anyone but me. Uh, and Blair, you can also Thank have one. You. You, get two. you get two. You get two. Two. You've got two of that creature. Oh God! <laughs> Let me give you a copy. Just two for the... uh, well, I tell you what, you can have two pirates. Uh, yeah. I'll give you a copy for your pirate because oh, I haven't got enough pirates to go. Back. I'm done. Over Fantastic. to you. Fantastic. All right. So upkeep. We would have TikTok, but no more TikTok. TikTok is done. How did you Finally. feel about TikTok? <laughs> it's the worst move I've ever done. In any oh game. no! I, I waited for it for ages, and at the oh, worst possible right. time, it scrapped my pirate <laughs> hand. I hate it. I hate it so much. Okay. Stupid clock. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to spend Reliquary Tower to bring in Soul Ring, which gives me two colorless mana. I am then going to bring in Simic Ascendancy by spending uh, this one for green and this one for blue. It's still got three others because now I have a red pirate. You're welcome. So thank you for that. So my... Blue has been used on that. <laughs> I might need help remembering this. I'm using the blue from that, green from that, to play Simic Ascendancy, Ooh. which is an enchantment. Uh, whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are put on a creature you control, put that many growth counters on Simic Ascendancy. At the beginning of your upkeep, if Simic Ascendancy has 20 or more growth counters on it, you win the game! Christ. But it also has, uh, I can spend some uh, mana to put a plus one plus one counter on a target creature you control. 
That also activates Miss Bumbleflower and Soul Ring should have done that as well, so I'll just do that now. Uh, so Me. I get to put a plus one plus one counter on a creature of my choice. I'm out of plus one plus one counters because you stole all of mine. Nice. Thank you. We'll just get rid of this one because I think I'm just going to put them all on Miss Bumbleflower. So she's now at three. DT this one and this one. Um, uh, it gains flying till the end of the turn. Uh, an opponent draws a card. They'll get to do this, or one for each, maybe. John, draw a card. Thanks, Bless. Oh, you're both very scary. No, you know what, John? You had me draw two cards. I really appreciated that. So go ahead and draw another card well, for thanks. the second one. Um, I also get to draw two cards now because that happened twice. Oh, your card drawn, Blair. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. Then I'm going to do this for white. Oh, I'm worried. Um, and use the white from this. Maybe I shouldn't be. And then one, two, uh, three, a random one from that. To bring in Sunscorch Regent. Ooh. This is a flying dragon with four, three. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on Sunscorch Regent and you gain one life. So anytime you guys play cards that aren't lands, <laughs> um, that happens. And is that going to go into... Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Um, but I'm not done yet. Uh, I'm going to spend the last one. Yeah, he's doing the string commanders. So ah, yes. Who wants to draw a card? I don't get to draw any cards. Okay. Do you want to draw a card? Okay. What do I do? Okay. Now... I'm using this to 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 do this, which gives me a yellow and a blue, and then I'm also spending this to play uh, Martial Impetus, which is an enchantment. Uh, it enchants a creature. Enchanted creature gets a plus one plus well, uh, gets plus one plus one and is goaded. Whenever enchanted creature attacks. Each other creature that's attacking one of your opponents gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. So, it might be nice to put this on one of mine, but to make sure it doesn't attack me, I'm going to put this on the one that can get rid of enchantments. So, there you go. You're welcome. Cool. I've made you beefier, but you can't attack me with it. So, it's it. plus one, plus one, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Which also triggers that. So, um, because I've put that on you and it gives you a plus one, uh, now this also goes up. Oh, to out. five, which mm. also makes this go up to two. Where's the two? <laughs> there, there it is. is. Okay, so that's that. Um, now these guys have to attack, um, so they're gonna do that. Lori, both of these will come at you. Two pirates. Um, this has summoning sickness. This is an enchantment. Now Miss Bumbleflower is at 6, 10 now. Huge. And she flies and, she and has vigilance. Wow. Who's the smart one to go for? You're at 31. Oh, me, I think. Mm, I don't I like do it. I do actually think it is Dom. Yeah, Dom's on 40. <sighs> but I don't trust What's the worst that could happen? Oh! He doesn't know what he's doing, he's just bluffing. <laughs> I'm a clue. Grandad's absolutely losing it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, oh wait, him. no, you have Death Touch! No, Lauren's no, Death Touch. No, what is That's this? That's Dethrone. Dethrone, oh my he's god. He's got Deep Throne. I thought you were trying to... I thought you were, I thought yeah. you were trying well, to Well, I mean, me. that's that's why the dragons have the long neck. That yeah. is a, that's a pretty... <laughs> oh, that's a deep neck. god. Deep okay, alright. I'm going to... <laughs> yeah. Attack with Killer Bunny. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm you gonna... can always buy it back again, right? Two? Yeah, that's true. But it's... Oh, it's... Uh, you, you, it's so the, tasty died, right now, you though. The... You can send it to John, and John would have to spend everything he has to kill it. He wouldn't... Uh, no, he no, he can't. Oh, he's got oh, no flyers. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, I, oh, I should go for John rabbit. then. I should go for John because he's less scary. Right. Okay, I will go for you. Oh, Blair. No, <laughs> no, no. You can if you want. No. I would I would go for Dom if I were you. But that's up to you. Yeah, go for me. 
Oh, what's it, what's it got? I'm Six so damage. Scared. Six damage. Oh, yeah, go for me. You'll be fine. I'm going to go for Lori because everyone else is scaring me. <laughs> <Hell yeah. laughs> All right. We've got to move, we've got to move on. So All right. I'm, I'm attacking you because everyone else is, is scary. With All their right, secrets. then, Blair. No, fine. what's your other secret? All right, here we go. Are you happy with Lori? Yes. <laughs> All right, let's. <laughs> okay, so I will block one of your pirates with Gonti, which the pirate dies but doesn't kill Gonti. Uh, I will then. So is that now exhausted? So Whatever. Uh, no, now he doesn't get exhausted. He's taken four damage. But you can't so block goes. more than one. So he's so. taken four damage. Yeah. Yeah. But Thank you. That's that pirate will be coming back. Yeah. And then You've I. You've still got another pirate. I know. I will take. I'll just take the ten damage. Cool. So he's got a plan. Okay. Um, my oh, turn cool. is done, so sure. it doesn't matter. If okay. It's sick. Right. All right. Sick. Sick what? Oh, we can get rid of that now. <clears throat> Um, you do need that. Here we go, Dom. Time for the prestige. Oh, well, we'll see. I'll probably balls it up. I always do. <laughs> so, I'm... Yeah, it's, it's popping off, off it's now. Popping <laughs> it's popping off now. So I'm going to spend a forest to, to spend to tap this, mm -hmm. uh, which gets me a fire and a tree. Ooh. And then I'll do uh, two more. Will I still be able to do it? Yes, I will. It's all good in the hood. Uh, two more, and then I'm going to cast Decimate, which oh, means you, you gain an, a life you. point. I gain a life that won't and backfire also... on you at all. Oh no! <laughs> I know what you're doing. You know what I'm gonna do. Oh no! Wait, hold on. I'm not done yet. Hold on. Okay, so I gain a life, <laughs> but I also gain a plus one, plus one counter, which also makes this go up to. And if it ever gets how many on it, you 20, win? 20. 20. 20. Okay. And um, am I right in thinking that that's the, she's no longer flying, right? No. Okay, great. <laughs> so I'm going to destroy um, a target artifact. Okay, uh, that's, that's the only gone. one. I'm going to destroy a target creature, which is going to be that Sun Scorch Regent. Oh so that's gone. God. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I mean, you haven't got any mana, right? So you can't, you can't do any spells to counteract, right? Yeah, oh, that's a very good point. Okay, yep. Yeah, so that's gone. This is dead. Uh, oh, a man. target enchantment. Uh, oh, so Tom. Which, what are your enchantments there? You, you got Just this one. Oh yeah, that, that's, oh, that's no. gone. I was literally speeding the game up, Tom. Oh, this is gonna be, I'm speeding up. This Don't isn't worry. speeding it up. This oh, is, is taking everything, it's, all it's, progress away. It's speeding up your game significantly. Oh my God. And then a target land. Uh, whatever oh, the best one Jesus. is. Oh, Jesus. Just take me out. Uh, whatever the best one is. Uh, let's get rid of that reliquary tower. Oh, that's, fucking that's hell. Us, Absolutely brutal. Alakazam. You have a scary turn, Blair. Never uh, have a scary turn. Just be a Jesus. quiet threat. <laughs> Lovely. We'll never oh, get anywhere. Play. I forgot to put a land down. I realize I've got... Am I allowed to do that now? Yeah. Oh, great. Uh, so I'll pop that other land down. And then I'll encroaching get into this out of here. <laughs> yeah, well, this will be just, free just soon. Stack it. Stack it. <laughs> <laughs> I can move up. <laughs> um, I get absolutely, absolutely brutal. Absolutely brutalized. Uh, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna bring in this under cover of darkness uh, with three. So let's see. Tap those two, and the village. Yeah. Uh, just check that is right right price. Yep. It's a morph. Thank you very much. Um, and that's going to have summoning sickness, isn't it? Yep. Okay, fine. Oh, yeah, great. I draw a card. Let's see what we're dealing with. Um, okay. Uh, so I'm going to commit this and this and this and this. Uh, and I think I'm going to attack you, Blair. Oh, okay. Wow. How um, much is that? So, first of all, uh, whenever this creature attacks the player with the most life or tied for most life, he gets a plus one, plus one counter on it. And you, you have tied for the most life. Oh, that's brilliant. You healed just enough. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. Um, so, so there's that. Uh, these are all now tapped. I haven't really got room to show you. Um, whenever it attacks for the first time each turn, which it is doing, 
If it's attacking the player with the most life or tied for most life, untap all attacking creatures. And after this phase, there's an additional combat phase. So I get to use oh, them all again. Oh, God. Um, so we'll well, unless you block them all. Yeah. Unless you, block. you can block them and kill them. So, so that's what Well, I can't do anything about this. No, so you can take that six. You don't know what this is. Don't know what that is. Uh, this is also six with a five. So I could block that. And this is flying as well. I could block this and kill this. Oh god. I mean, how much do I want these cards? How much still? do you want to live? Okay, I mean, I'll definitely be blocking... Which one's worse? What does this one do? Uh, it does 5-5. Five, five. When you kill it, it will create 5-1-1 oh one snakes. Oh god, I don't want to kill that. That's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Absolutely hideous. So, it's five okay. one one snakes. <laughs> Slithering out of its belly. Disgust down. Okay, so I'm gonna block mm -hmm. this one mm -hmm. with that, because that will just kill that and it'll mm -hmm. and this will be fine. Mm -hmm. Oh nice. Um how much will it take? Six. Eleven. I'll just take and then whatever this is. Yeah, I'll just you're going to take the rest? God, I'm just going to take the rest. Well, before you do, I'm going to tap this to reveal this. And when this is revealed, it's uh, Hidden Dragon Slayer. Uh, when Hidden Dragon Slayer is turned face up, destroy a target creature with power four or greater in opponent controls. And that's Miss, oh, yeah, that's Miss Bumbleflower, no. isn't it? Oh, so God. she's dead. Oh, my God. That goes back here as the commander, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. And we're having it up there. An extra two next time. So it does, yeah. indeed, yes. The really good thing you did, I think, was removing the powerful dice. Yeah. Because that was that was getting really scary. So, I guess that means you take... <laughs> Why are we um, <laughs> I guess that means you take... That's five... Uh, got some it, Eleven. I've got, I've got some uh, more hats. 12, 13, Fourteen. <laughs> yeah. Fourteen damage. Fourteen damage, I'm afraid. So, I'm at twenty-six? I thought it'd be worse than that. Although you did lose a lot of cards, but... Uh, yeah, my game is over, John. <laughs> no, it's not. You still, you've still got. You've literally still got your other, your other win condition on the table. Yeah, but I have and no you're doing way better than Laurie. <laughs> you're doing better than me. 26. I just took out all of that to the face. Oh my god! <laughs> but you're about to do it to me again. And you gain three life. And I gained three life. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Um, and now there's another combat phase, right? Yeah, you get to go again. Is, yeah. You get to go again because of. Because of this guy. Oh my Stupid god. Um, but you know what? I'll share the love around, don't oh, worry. Oh, no, you should just you um, should just do it again. <laughs> <laughs> um, Honestly, like in Commando, that's what you should do. Well, you should just come this way. I won't be. Yeah, sounds like you will. No, I, I genuinely won't. It's, it's, it like is will. part of the game. Also, Laurie, Laurie's <laughs> next. I kind of want to deal with that because I feel like I'm a target now. You're not going to take out any of these guys because they're all tapped, so mm. you know, I'm, I'm not going to commit. Well, I might commit something. These guys aren't blocking. These, yeah, these guys can't block. <laughs> What's going on with John over there? Not a lot. John's no. just quietly building power. That's yeah. all. <laughs> so what's what's your Ms. Bumbleflower on over there? Uh, that will be whatever one the five. starting is. One five, yeah. This is a reminder. This is a five five, and this is a. It doesn't yeah. Work. yeah. The only thing you got, oh. the only thing you got that can block is Bumbleflower. Oh yeah. So you would just hurt me. So these are summoning sick, but they can block. Uh, yeah. These are tapped, so they can't. And good old Bumbleflower <laughs> can block. That's probably not my best option, is it? I'd kill Laurie if I were you. <laughs> or me. I, I think I should go for you. <laughs> yeah. I think I should go for you. Um, I mean, Laurie is going to have against... a scary move. I will not me. hold it against you. All it's right. part of the game. Okay, well, let's go for you then. <laughs> you <laughs> wanted a quick game. <laughs> yeah. Um, how much is that? Uh, that's 5, uh, 11, 17, uh, 18, 19, 20. Whoa. So you're still in. Oh, yeah. They're all tapped. That doesn't activate again, does it? No, no, no it's, it's only the first time, time it attacks. You know. And it has to be it has to be the person with the highest yeah. life. Which is no longer, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll just get rid of that. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying this now, but I, can't, I still know I'm not gonna win. You might. You might do. I don't, I don't think know I what's going on. I don't think I will. Um Ooh. Oh, and what happens with this? You took damage uh Whenever a creature you control that was turned face up this turn deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. So I, I did, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. Did you draw twice? Did, yeah, twice. <laughs> well, maybe I will win. <laughs> Unbelievable. So you're on 46 now? 46. Wow. But then oh. so was 
Blair. <laughs> yeah, I was literally. Yeah. Well, it's not. It's not actually nice being too far in the lead. No, it's I would say, yeah, avoid <laughs> it. It's my turn. Let me see you what I picked. So let me, the target. Let me now. see what I picked up just in case there's anything I can do. Uh, you haven't got any magic, any mana. Sorry. No, that's true. That's. That is true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, 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 yeah, no, that's all good. Untap all these. Well, I had my, I had my blaze of glory. Yeah. I don't mind yeah, if I lose. Yeah. I don't know it if I'm going to It was a It was a fantastic <laughs> turn. Uh, we're going to draw oh this, and we are going to play this, which is a forest card. Uh, I'm going to go straight to combat. Oh, so these guys, these have to attack. The, these guys have to, because that's yeah. just they that's the rule. It. So, Dob, you can have those guys. Okay. Uh, I think I'll keep these in reserve. Uh, I will also... Uh, I'll commit Nashi towards you as well, Dom, mm. and this Trigon Predator. Which uh, makes everything else plus one, plus one as well. Yes. Oh, yes. God. Everything, everything attacking you right now. So this is... Oh, uh, damage coming your way right now is five, uh, ten, 15, 19. Uh, I'm going to send this towards John. Oh, rude. Uh, uh, three unblockable damage. Aww. And Blair, that's one unblockable damage your way. Why? Because for every person I deal damage to, I strip uh, a card from the top of their deck. Yeah, because of this enchantment that Blair gave me, uh, the, the sliver of the blade that I'm sending your way doesn't yeah. get plus one. But this one does, John, because it's attacking someone who's not Blair. So a total of four. Uh, so a total of four damage for you. Okay, and done. I get to exile the top card of your deck, please. Have it. Thank you. Oh, it's not blockable. Um, <clears throat> so, so you put your life back up for one second. The only things I can really block with are these guys, right? Uh, and I yes. don't want to do that um, because there's nothing that can actually stop because you're plus ones. Yeah. So it is in my interest, I think, to take take it on the chin. Nineteen hot ones coming your way. Nineteen hot ones. I can afford it. I can afford it. I can afford it. I can afford it. <laughs> okay, I get the top card of your deck. Uh, what's forty-six minus nineteen? Anyone? <laughs> uh, uh, thank you. Twenty-five. Mm. Uh, I get to exile the top card of your deck because of Gonti, because uh, I dealt damage to you, uh, which is interesting. Uh, I also get the ability on Nashi. Whenever Nashi Moonsage's Scion deals damage to a player, uh, to a player, exile the top card of each player's library until the end of the turn. You may play one each, uh, one of those cards. If you cast a spell this way, pay life equal to its mana value rather than paying its cost. So I get to exile the top card of all of your decks all and of my us. deck as well. I'm Here assuming you go. me as well. Yep. I have nothing to do with this. Yeah, I know. Have you got mine? <laughs> no, I haven't taken one of yours. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> multi like, yeah. yeah. Joseph yeah. and his technical of deck. <laughs> yeah, so I can Dream just pay deck. life equal to it. <laughs> Uh, yes, I yeah. still have this attack to resolve, and the reason I haven't resolved it is because what I am going to do is oh uh, <laughs> a spot of ninjutsu. Uh, so I can, I'm going to spend this uh, to save me, right? One of these, <laughs> to save uh, me, right? One of these and one of these. You're doing, you're doing a spot of ninjutsu to, to save me. I'm helping. Me, right? Yeah, I'm helping. I'm helping. Uh, so then I'm You've going been to. Each other this whole game. So I swap uh, slither blade out, and in comes my fallen oh. shinobi. Uh, who is going to be dealing you five damage oh. uh, unblocked? Oh. And I exile the top two cards of your deck, and I get to pay. I can play one of them uh, without paying its mana cost. Yes, yeah, so these are all tapped. So, uh, yep. Oh, this, lot, this lot are all tapped as well. Yep. Oh, these are all tapped. Yep. Uh, oh, these these cards also should be face up as well. Um, so, yeah, so all of those cards that I exiled from your hands should also be face up. <coughs> yep, so we have the uh, Baird, Steward of Argive, uh, which is a legendary creature, human soldier. It's got vigilance. Creatures can't attack you or planeswalkers you control unless their controlling player plays one for the, each of those creatures. The Exalted Angel, uh, it's a creature, it has flying. Whenever Exalted Angel deals damage, you gain that much life, and it has a morph ability. Uh, you may cast this card face down. Uh, a forest. That's one. So not too bad, but I get the top two cards of your deck, Blair. <laughs> Blair's a one health. I have one health. <laughs> uh, and I get to cast one for free. I, I just exile both of them face down, don't I, from this? Uh, oh, wait, hang on. Uh, 
exiles the top two cards of their library until the end of the turn. You may play one. So here's the top two cards of your library, Blair, if you want to know. It was Terramorphic Expanse, which is land, yeah. and Swiftfoot Boots, which is equipped creature, has hexproof and haste. Oh. Uh, can't be the target of spells or abilities your opponent's controls. Equip uh, a full. And that's cost one to equip it to something else once you've already got it. So it would cost me two mana to play it. Um, so this Swift uh, Foot Boots I can summon for free. I can cast for free uh, because of my ability on my uh, Fallen Shinobi. Um, but I have to pay one to equip it. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to put my Hexproofing on Gonti to make sure that you can't cast spells to get rid of him. Um, can't be the target of spells or abilities your opponent controls. I have two mana remaining. <laughs> what, the, what am I going to do now? Um, <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, one other thing. Uh, <laughs> whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, put a plus one counter on it. So oh, this Jesus. goes up to three. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. This goes up to three. Uh, these pirates go up <laughs> by one. <laughs> Thanks oh, for yeah. the pirates, John. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> pirates go up by <laughs> one. Tough guys. This Fuck guy goes up you, by <laughs> one. Uh, this guy goes up by one. Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> nice uh, leading score you've got there, John. It'd be a shame if anything. <laughs> I mean, you kill me if you like, but Laurie's going to kill you. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, so now, does this go back? Then these, all these exile cards go back to the relevant exile. players. Okay, so all these cards now go back to the. Because I'm going to end my turn there. And so all yeah, these cards the, go the back to. They go back to the exile piles of the other players, so they stay out of the game. So that was Thank yours. You. Uh, my exile uh, I believe Swamp was mine. I believe Swamp is you. Uh, that was me, so that stays in my exile pile. That's Dom, and that's Blair. Are you done? <laughs> yes. All right. Oh my God. Re up all of these. Uh, don't you just miss that clock? <laughs> Simpler <laughs> times. Really miss that Top. clock. Top. All right, these are all good to go. Um, so first of all, I'm going to play a Temple of the False God. Add two uh, no non-colored magic. Activate only if you control five or more lands, which I do. That's heading out there. Um, it's about to kick off. <laughs> about to? What do you mean about well, because to? This is the, I think this is the turn where everyone's about to die. Uh, I'm going to play this card, Dominic Allen, on you, which is called Repulse. Return target creature to its owner's hand. You have to get rid of your scary dragon, please. You've made a powerful enemy. <laughs> you want to hope I die before it comes back to me. <laughs> yeah, I'd like, I'd like you to die before it comes back to you. <laughs> trigger the bumble flower. Trigger the bumble flower. Trigger the bumble flower. So, trigger the bumble flower. Trigger the bumble flower. Uh, so that is a matter of any colour, so I'm going to use that to be my blue, and then this is two non uh, two colorless yes. pace for this and that goes into my graveyard uh so bumbleflower gets here you go a plus one and Is she's it... flying <laughs> we're so, gonna so go flying, 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 uh blair you can draw a card <gasps> thank you <laughs> Enjoy uh, it. if you've just thanks. given blair the exact card blair yeah, needs no. to just like get to 13 <laughs> yeah. that'd be crazy oh that'll be hilarious uh how many have you got seven seven okay then i draw a card for the use of um, my repulse card <laughs> a spicy little meatball is in cup. <clears throat> um, but I'm going to save that for now. <laughs> now then, what I'd like to do is kill you, Blair. Yep. <laughs> so, um, you have one health. Yeah, and I don't have anything that can fly. So if I attack with rabbit... Yeah, I'm dead. That's going to do two damage. Oh, no, no. If you, oh, yeah, flying. Yeah. 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 It would be quite delightful to kill you with your own <laughs> fire rabbit. My own <laughs> In a cruel way. Is that, am I understanding that right, Wally? Yeah. If I do that, Blair's dead. Uh -huh. Then I would like to attack you, Dominic, no. with one of my nettling nuisances, mm -hmm. and you, Laurie, with another. Mm. Okay. What's the, what's the damage on that? Uh, so you both will take, when we resolve, four damage each, but you will also both get a little pirate. <laughs> so if I, if I attack one one for these. Mm -hmm. yeah. can, I, can I also do one one with these? Yep, so how much damage is it? Should we just team up and take him down? Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll just slug it out in the, yeah. in the rubble. Oh, well, in that case, I'll just kill one of you then. Go on in. <laughs> well, you're just, then you're going to get the other ones. You're going to be like down. that, Laurie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, do, I do really like the idea that you have to attack each other with loads of pirates, though. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, fine. All right. Um, okay, so 
Dom, you're getting attacked once with that. Laurie, you're getting attacked once with that. Oh, four. Mm -hmm. So you get two pirates each. Um, I'll just use these pigs. <laughs> Would you uh, like... Yeah. It's attack four. It's got a counter on it, has it? It's got a plus. It's got a buff. This octopus. Yeah, uh, it's going to be four, <sighs> four each because this yeah, is plus one. Um, and then I'm going to attack. I'm just going to take the damage. Four, you say? Yes. All right. <clears throat> and then, Laurie, I'm going to attack you with Ted Will for another four. Mm -hmm. What are you on now? Thirteen. And then I'm going to attack you with my Archmage of Echoes for another f another five. Okay, so I go down to eight. And I'm attacked <coughs> by Bumbleflower <laughs> and go to down to zero. Oh. <laughs> Well done. Good job. Thank you, Blair. Good job, good job. Um, so I'm thinking, Laurie's quite weak. We could finish him off. We could. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that was another five, wasn't it? So I got to nine <clears throat> on this. Yeah. Lovely stuff. Mine goes um, away. What that was means you can't now cast Blair's spells from your account. Oh, yes. So Blair's spell. Thank you. Are, are these all tapped? should have cast that last yes. turn. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> oh, God. All right. I think that's me done. I think. Well done. Good job. Thanks, first, Blair. first blood. Sorry, first Blair. Blood. No, it's okay. I made myself a, an extreme target. You, you I literally, could I say, probably would have won. You could if say it playing got back that, to me. playing that Triska Decker file was a bit oh unlucky God. for you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, right. how we laughed! Right. Diddly d on tap, 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 on tap. <laughs> Brilliant. These are pirates for reference. Yes. <laughs> How many pirates you got? Two. 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 Yeah, right. Two I be pirates. Sergeant Squid and that be Admiral Octopus. <laughs> <laughs> we used to sail under the sea and we sail over. Why? I don't know. <laughs> we don't like it. We can't on. stop. May I offer you one piece of advice? Um, oh, please, John. Laurie does have four very angry pirates who have to attack you. So if you don't kill so you them, can block them with your. You could. You could wait. So what you could do is you have to commit your pirates. Uh, Dom, mm -hmm. you have to commit your pirates to attacking me. I block them with my two cards. Mm -hmm. On my turn, I'm going to commit my cards back to attacking you, but you can block them with your cards if you don't attack John. But on my turn, I'll just commit everything I have to attacking John because he's got nothing to block. No, not yet. I didn't quite absorb <laughs> Not all yet, that, Laurie. But, <laughs> but um, certainly, uh, I, I, I do need to do a bit of maths. My point is, if you don't um, kill Laurie, he has well. to attack your lot. Oh, that's gone, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. What does he have to attack with? Just pirate. This says four times pirates. Four pirates. Uh, I'm not Some scared. of them are beefed up. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Um, no ghost. <clears throat> uh, my brain's just turned to mush. Did you just play that land? Yeah. Nice. And it doesn't have to be tapped because I've got basic lands, but yeah. I will. Oh, no, I need to. I need to know. I need to think ahead. And work out what I need to actually spend here. I think I want to get this guy in. So that's two. Two of those, so I don't need any planes. Um, yeah, because I'll get I'll get that for that. Okay, cool. Uh, so I'm going to tap a planes to bring in this soul ring, <laughs> and now, so we'll bring in this with tapping these. One, two, three. That means this guy comes in disguise as a morph. But sick. Okay. Uh, and I draw a card. Thank you. Okay. Uh, and now then, I'm going to tap this. That gives me two. Tap this. It gives me <coughs> fire. Tap this. It gives me fire. So I just need to tap one more. I'll tap. Tap this, and then I can bring in Neheb the Eternal. Oh God! Um, a zombie Minotaur warrior. Let the games begin. <laughs> uh, what do I want to do? Uh, so these guys have to attack mm -hmm. me, they and are they have to attack mad Laurie. horny for killing Laurie. Great. <laughs> Okay. So the only way to describe it. Uh, what are they normally? They're four two. They're four twos, yeah. 
What was your plan, Laurie? If you if I attack you, if with you these... tell me those two, yeah. I'll just block it. Yeah, and then you attack John, or like ta like you can ha not hard commit on John, just attack him like a couple of times, and mm. then I'll just finish him off. Okay, but what about when you attack me with your pirates? Well, you can do you keep the blockers back. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. why you don't attack, because you keep blockers back to take the pirates out, and we can just mutually get rid of all the pirates. Yeah, he destroys all of your. And just to be clear, these are so. fours, even though I say two on that. Or you can kill me and fight John. That's that's also oh. fine. Laurie's, I'm easy Laurie's with that. gonna do sixteen damage to you, whether he likes it or not. So you wanna sixteen oh, sixteen Sorry. completely blockable damage. So uh, eighteen. Yeah, but these only have two. These guys, these guys have three uh, toughness. These guys have two toughness. So it's very blockable damage. Mm. This is the thing: you don't have to commit much to killing me, right? Mm. Mm. But you have nothing to block John because all of John's is flying. Mm. So if we don't kill John, That's John's true. just going to storm through you next turn. That's true. Well, it sounds like we have an agreement. Uh, I just need to work out what I need to keep back to block. So you would be attacking with. You'd be forced to attack with these four. And that's what's the total of that? That's eight. Yep. And then uh, this is. That's another 10, so that's 18. 18. But, again, you just need four bodies to block all of that. Well, the pirates, and they can't attack John anyway, no, so they have they to just, attack you. They just don't want to. So they're going to be attacking you. Mm -hmm. uh, and what did you suggest? That I keep this back and this back? If you keep some things back to block, that would be the best thing to do. Let's keep these back. Stupid pirates. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid pirates. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> fucking pirates! The fact that they're little pigs wandering out there, they're just so being good. like, "It's so good." Yo ho! <laughs> no, come back! Stop it! <laughs> Stop fighting, you guys! They're so angry. Oh, we love okay. fighting. Uh, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to attack John with this, oh, no. and this, oh, no. and do I want to commit the Hydra? Well, I'll need it to block. Well, if, you, if it dies, if it dies, you get all the snakes. You can use all the snakes true. to block. Yeah. That's true. Oh, yeah. um, and the hooded hydra. <coughs> so it's me. one, two, three. Yeah. Okay. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Unless you're going to block. Uh, I can't. Oh, well, before you do then, <laughs> I'm going to tap Kaust and flip this over. Uh, to reveal that it is in fact a uh, Croson Cloud Scraper does Whoa. 13. <gasps> what? Oh <laughs> my god! So that's, uh, 13? 13. 14, 15, 16, uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Christ, that is, that is worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. mm. When you bring these out, do you only have to pay the colour? I pay three keep it undercover, wow. and then he can turn them for free. Before damage, I'm going to cast this. Keep watch. Draw a card for each attacking creature, which I believe is three. Is that right? Three attacking creatures? Uh, what was it? Uh, one, two, three. three. Does that mean attacking me or just attacking oh, in general? Because it's all, all attacking creatures. Oh, great. Cards. My sweet pirates are also attacking. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. One, <laughs> two, three, four, oh five. Gosh. Come on, cards. Don't fail me now. <laughs> mm, I don't think that changes anything, sadly. Oh. Oh, and I need to make sure I tap uh, three. Uh, water, and then it can be anything. It's water, just fire, earth, air. So I still have, so that's that done. Still got three left. All right, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Oh, and also because I played this, does that, that does something to this? Counts out somebody draws a card. Someone draws a card. Ooh. I'll take a card. I have to do it, don't you I? Have to. Yeah, I played a card. Um, uh, all right, Dom, you can have a card, um, <clears throat> and I can put it wherever. But yep. none of these are blocking anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Although this is flight, yeah. Come on, God. All right, I'm going to play this frantic search, which costs three. So one, two, three. It's uh, blue and colours. Draw two cards, then discard two cards, untap up to three lands. Oh, nice. Okay, uh, because I'm uh, using more abilities, it triggers my bumble flower, <laughs> which means I draw two more, which I've done. Um, but because I do that, someone else has to draw a card. Laurie, I choose you. My bumble flower is growing. <laughs> Come nice. on. Is that different to the card I just drew? You, you, were, you, you were for the first one, so you're fine. Gotcha, gotcha. 
Yeah, uh, yes, that one. One. That's not allowed. Sorry, one. Two, because that can be either. Mm -hmm. And then and two. This can also be either. <laughs> Sorry. So I've got four. I think we've got it. I just want to check this works. I'm going to play Reckless Spite, which costs one black and then two, sorry, two black and one neutral. So I'm going to have to black, black, and then I'm going to have to use that for two, even though it's one. Yeah. I'm going to play Reckless Spite. I believe destroy two target non-black creatures. Can I activate something? Oh, yeah, you can, you can respond to that. Wonderful. I'll tap right. this to play Spell Stutter. Uh, counter target spell unless its controller pays an extra two mana plus an oh, additional one for each fairy. That's you my card. Yeah, it is. Where's yeah. that from? Oh, I got it from your deck. <laughs> 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 I got it from your deck, mate. No, Laurie, I'm going to destroy Dom's powerful. Yeah, piece. but I'm going to gonna take you out. <laughs> No, he's not. I'm going to survive, but he. I'm going to get rid of his 13, which he will use on you. I don't mind that. Laurie, you do mind! No, because I've got something else, mate. No, you don't! I've got so many cards. I've had the whole Laurie, game. Yeah. this is Sorry. not going to help you. Sorry. Laurie, I'm going to lose anyway. <laughs> don't be an idiot. <laughs> don't do this. He's already done it. Oh, he's already so done it. <laughs> You're a stupid pig, Laurie. Sorry. The thing is, we already made a deal. I made a deal that Dom would commit deal. these cards, and then I would I would attack you on my turn. This is not attacking me. This is blocking this me is, from is, defending Myself. This is there. This is You're me. a stupid prick. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's good. It's good. After all of that. Oh, oh no. no. I mean, there's nothing else I can do, sadly, because this piece of. Oh, piece I, was of just, work. I was just watching you spend all the mana. And Wasting like, my time. This is going to make it much easier for me to kill you on my turn. Oh, God. Uh, I've got loads of cards. Oh, so my goodness. Oh, that's so oh, annoying. Nice. Well done. Okay, I need to discard down. Oh, it's not even my turn, is it? It's Laurie's going to win. Yeah, but it's still your turn. I'll get, I'll get rid of that card. Oh, yeah, it is still my turn. <laughs> I was All right, just so I'm trying to count you. I'll take the damage. This whole parenthesis that just happened. Uh, how much damage <laughs> are you doing to me? It's 21. Uh, 21. 20, so 21 I'm down to 10. So I'm going to use Gonti and Kazur to do my blocking, uh, which will destroy both of them, but destroy both of those as well. Um, oh, look, something's in my graveyard. Oh, thank you. Right. <laughs> Um, oh, is there time. anything else I wish to do? In your end step. Uh, because of Neheb the Eternal, <laughs> um, he gets uh, red mana for each one life my opponent's lost this turn. So you lost 21. 21, yeah. So I've now got 21 oh. red mana to use. That you can use right now. That's that I can use right now. Crazy. Given um, I'm going to lose anyway, could you kill Laurie? That would be so funny. If, me, if him stopping me destroying this 13 is the thing that leads you to be killed, Laurie, I will die happy. He's that's back. Fine. So that's six. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I haven't got enough stuff to... Oh, actually, no, I might I might do, because I can use it for anything. 21 mana! Six <laughs> plus four. There's a limited amount of things I can so do. That's ten. <laughs> so that's ten. I've got to through there. Yeah, that's that's ten. there. And then... Um, <laughs> Oh, let's stick out this. Yes, the as one. Oh, let's use this panoptic projector as well. That's four. The next face down creature spell I cast this turn costs three less to cast. Dom, it'd be really funny if you killed Laurie. <laughs> uh, so I can I can play this face down for three, <laughs> but it's three cheaper so because I've tapped nothing. my panopticon wherever it's gone. What have I done with it? How ironic! You can't see the panopticon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> panoptic, my panoptic projector, which is now tapped. Um, God, I've got enough room. So that means I can play this essentially for free, which is uh, going to be a morph. And I get to draw another card. Good stuff. Wow. Good stuff. Okay. I can't use that just now. Um, uh, let me see. Put us out of our misery, Dom. I'm trying. I'm trying. But every time I do something, I get another card. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've lost where we are. So we're on, what's that? What are we on seven. now? Seven. 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 I've got seven left. Oh, I've um, destroyed two non-black creatures. I may as well put this in, I suppose, because I don't think there's anything else I can actually... Oh, wait. Shit. That's a land. <clears throat> All right. Um, what? Yeah. Hey, you. So I may as well stick this that? out as well. This is the Lifecrafter's Bestiary. At the beginning of your upkeep, scry one. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you may pay a green mana yeah. if you do draw a card. So it's even more cards for me if I want it. Um, so that's there. So that's three, uh, oh six, God. five, four. <laughs> oh my God. 
Oh, hell. Um, I Unbelievable. Think, I think that's everything I can currently do. Can you turn um, all your cards that you've that are tapped? Yeah. Because these are oh, yes, tapped. Yes, yes, yes. So that's used. tapped. Uh, that's tapped. That is uh, the one I've just brought out, right? Yes, that's, uh, that's summoning sickness. There's summoning sick. That is not tapped. That, that's tapped. I think. And did you get some heals from all the? And damage? because of the life link, I gain. Uh, what was it? Three. three. Oh, just three. Close. Two. Crazy. Three, Twenty-four. Ooh. All right. And I think I think that is the end of oh my. my God. Yes. Okay. <laughs> what so. a turn. Wow. wow. Incredible. Oh, I'm exhausted. Right. So we kill, kill, kill me, please. If it was your toady here, it would have been fine. <laughs> We untap all of these. Untap all of this. I hope the pirates kill you. <laughs> we're gonna draw. <laughs> we're gonna draw a card. <laughs> oh, there's a lot to remember there. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna play this forest from my exile, uh, which I can use Gonti to do. Uh, I am that, cost? Uh, that doesn't cost anything because it's Ooh. just I can play any card that's in the exile. Um, I'm gonna tap uh, this water. Uh, what do I need? I need two waters, so I'll tap uh, this for water. And then I need five others. One, oh, no. two, oh, three, four, five. Ah. And I'm going to summon the Diluvian Primordial, which allows me to, uh, when it enters the battlefield, I get uh, for each opponent, I may cast up to one target instant or sorcery card from that player's graveyard without paying its mana cost. So I can't cast your Decimate because there's not, we don't re meet the requirements currently because there's no enchantments That's on right. the board. You need to get one Could of you each take something categories. else from? Uh, there's nothing else in uh, Don's graveyard. It has to be a sorcery or an instant card, right. and okay, there aren't fine. those. I've used very little. So, Maybe don't bother doing it then. I'll have a look at yours, please, John. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the great sorcerer over here. <laughs> it's all sorcery cards. Did one spell and he just <laughs> noped it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What are you looking for, mate? I was looking for that spell. Oh, I don't think it's there anymore, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Choose one. Fall out of John's sleeve. <laughs> yes, I hid it. <laughs> you hid it. Thank you. So there was one in your graveyard. Yes, Excellent. you knew it was there because you, you spell stuttered it, didn't you? I did spell stutter it. You put it there yourself. Uh, so you I'll, I'll, scum. Well, I'll do it now. Uh, reckless Spite. Uh, destroy two target non black creatures and I lose five life. It does sound like Reckless Spite, uh, doesn't you it? You lose five life. <laughs> yeah, but we can take five life. I'll go down to three life and Ooh. then we'll see where we land oh with this God. turn. Uh, this is what I was going to do, Laurie. You stopped me doing it, and I then know, you did it. I know, but it's fun, isn't it? It's not fun. It's no really one's having fun here. Fun. Uh, I'll kill your... So what's available to block? You maniac. Um, the root elemental, oh. the beast whisperer, all of this stuff here. All of this stuff. Not, uh, not this. That's an artifact. Let's put these over here. Um, there's no organization going on over here because we're just constantly growing. This guy's 13. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, you don't need they're, to know that they're tapped. I oh, know, but they're tapped. They're Basically, I need to kill now, Dom so this turn. Oh, I uh, see. Because, yeah. One, and he's got 24 one. life. Uh, that's, so I'm trying yeah. to get it so I can oh, I see. sling my pirates at him and <laughs> kill him. <laughs> I hope uh, your pirates do the killing. Yeah. Um, so anything that's, that could block. <laughs> yeah. Anything that could block. Let us. Yeah. That's and right. that's all tapped. So you can't flip that anyway. So I'll kill these two. Yeah, that dragon is hideous. Oh, no, hang on. I'll kill. This one's got six. So I'll kill him. Okay. Uh, and and I'll kill the dragon. dragon. Yeah. yeah so that's... they're both gone to the graveyard. No. Well, at least it got used, my lovely card. Uh, <laughs> we're going to spend one to equip to the Diluvian Primordial. Uh, we are going Ooh. to. <sighs> oh, that's uh, tapped. tapped. We're going to play uh, the Fallen Shinobi and the uh, Trigon Predator towards John for 10 damage. Don't do that. Uh, I am then going to commit. No, don't, don't, Laurie, don't. That will kill everything, me. Everything, Dom. Everything. Every single thing. Do you Under know me? that that's going to kill him? Don't know. Well, why don't you kill him? We're going to find out. I'm not going to do the maths. Do the maths, Laurie. I don't want to do the maths because when I do this, I'm going to get a card from every single person that I can play for free. But you did the maths and for I me. And I might get, I might get a spell that John, might. Yeah. What we have a saying, which is. For yeah. Magic. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> math is for blockers. Yes. Yeah. Math is for blockers. Math's for cool guys. You can do, do you can do the math and work it out. Oh, Wait, what, what's happening? You're attacking me with everything. I'm attacking you with all of this, and then I've killed John as per is, our agreement. Is there, <laughs> is there anything? Is there anything I can do? while well, am I? You know you're done for. I'm right. done. All right. Yeah. All right. So well done. let's find well out, done. Dom, what's let's happening. Let's find here. out what's happening. <laughs> this Dominic Allen 
is for for the for a tea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh-huh. John is unfortunately out of the game through no fault of mine. Uh, and you now have to face this wall of meat. God, I hope you win, Dom. What uh, am I doing yeah, this, on, Dom. this section here? Uh, yes, yeah, this, this no, is you. Fuck you, Dom. You fucked me over. <laughs> so, Dom, absolutely so Dom, you. I asked if you did. You if you married right him. So, Dom, you have. So, so <laughs> should we deal with John first? <laughs> I've already done it. I'm dead. Okay, so what's happening uh, now, Dom, is coming mm. your way is four damage, five damage, uh, f- five more damage. Uh, so you've got 13, uh, 17, 21. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's that? 26, 31, and four more. So 35. 35 damage. Oh and quite a lot of that can't be blocked. Four, eight. Uh, yeah, this can't be blocked. So four can't be blocked at all. Plus 10. 18. Tw- 21 can't be blocked. The pirates can't be blocked. Oh, sorry, they can't block. Yeah. They can't Got block, it. yeah. Oh, ignore that. So unblockable coming your way is... Uh, yeah, you've got eight damage coming, no, nine damage coming your way, unblockable, uh, and then all the rest is blockable. So okay. how do you want to divvy it out? Let's These are tapped. Let's see, uh, there's probably not a lot I can do. Uh, what have I got here? That requires, uh, that requires one to... Can I help Dom in any way? No. Even We're though, because it's all... It's all happened at the same time, so you, you are still alive, and oh. you still act. Well, you've yeah. got no mana, right? Yeah, sadly <laughs> not. Because I used it all trying to use that spell <laughs> that Laurie blocked <laughs> and then took and but waste you wasted it. all your mana on it. So I've decided I'm going to block as much as I can. I'm not going to use this, but I am going to use um, my Beast Whisperer. Ah, oh, sad to see him go. <laughs> um, let's move these down here. So we've got Beast Whisperer, Root Elemental, whatever this is. Could be Ooh. something scary. The Bolt Bender. Ah, oh, we hardly knew ye. Um, and that's it, right? Okay, so, so you're going to block... I'm going to block your biggest stuff. So you're going to block a five, a five, and a five, and uh, this is a four, so you could you could potentially also block one and survive um, with that still as well. Yeah. Let's do Because if you block the four with that, then you don't take that four damage and that survives, so this will die. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, you would block... You block him or... Yeah. But he won't die. Yeah, it won't die, but this will. But that will? Yeah. Uh, this will die, and this will die. Mutually yep. sure destruction. Have your pirate back, John. Thank you for it. I enjoyed having it. Uh, that goes face up in the... Yep. And then these two cancel each other out as well, correct? Yep. They kill each other. They kill, they kill each, each other, other. yeah. And then, coming through to you, this has been dealt with, is uh, 8 damage. 8 damage, which is 16 damage. 16. 21, 22, 23, 24. Leaves me with 8. These are all tapped. Tap little piggies. Tap, tap, tap you have to flip piggy. it over, I see. Um, but uh, I also used Fallen Shinobi, which dealt damage directly to a player, which means I get to look at the I get to look at the uh, I exile the top card of each player's deck. Uh, so my top card is the Brain Stealer Dragon. Uh, at the beginning of your end step, exile the top card of each opponent's library. You may play those cards for as long as they remain exiled. If if you cast a spell this way, you may spend mana as that you may spend mana as though it were mana of any colour to cast it. Whenever a non land permanent an opponent owns enters the battlefield under your control, they lose life equal to its mana value. Interesting. What was that? <laughs> and then I draw this, uh, which is Sidar Kondo of Jumara. Uh, he's a legendary creature. Has flanking. Whenever a creature without flanking blocks this creature, the blocking creature gets minus one, minus one. Uh, creatures your opponent controls without flying or reach can't block creatures with power two or less. Partner. You can have two commanders. Uh, you you can have two commanders if both have partner. So I'm going to I'm going to use it to summon the Brain Sealer Dragon for free. Uh, oh, wow. At the beginning of your end step, exile uh, the top card of each opponent's library. You may play those cards for as long as they remain exiled. So I won't be able to play them, but I do get to see them. Let's find out if any of them <laughs> did eight damage. Uh, my oh, just each opponent. So just your card, Dom. Uh, this is Tisak Judith's Hellhound. Uh, it's a legendary creature. Has Unleash. You may have this creature enter the battlefield with a 1-1 counter on it. It can't block as long as it has a 1-1 counter on it. Other dogs you control have Unleash. Creatures you control with counters on them have Haste. Whenever Tasek, Judith's Hellhound attacks, for uh, add a red mana for each attacking creature. So that gets exiled as well. So unfortunately, 
Do you get no way in which to kill you. No, I don't get to attack with that six because it enters uh, summoning oh, six. Course. But uh, yeah, I would have been able if I could have summoned something with uh, whenever a non-land permanent opponent owns enters the battlefield under your control, they lose life equal to its mana value. So I could have killed Dom. I could have got Dom to four, I think. Mm. Realistically, uh, I don't have anything big. I don't have my oh. Hydra that I'd stolen. So Dom, your How do you turn. do it? Okay. Well, we'll untap everything. Um, anyway, may as well go through what if go through the rigmarole. You might, you never you know. It's have quite mana. scary. Yeah, you you have no mana. I know. I'm not in my hand either. <laughs> that goes this this there. deck doesn't have direct spells. Yeah. I have to nick them. <laughs> the beginning of not that spell stuff. At the beginning of your so upkeep, bad. scry one. So I can. Oh. Uh, All right, finish him off, Dom. Okay, and I can tap two forests straight away to keep my. Crowsand Cloud Scraper alive, right? So I'm going to tap these straight away to keep this guy alive because he, he eats a lot of trees. <laughs> um, he's a hungry boy. He's a hungry boy. Enjoy your card. Uh, I can scry at the beginning of my upkeep, so I'll do that. Uh, and I can choose to put that at the bottom, I believe. That's how scry yep. works, isn't it? So yeah, scry so. before you draw? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, didn't like the look of that. Um, so let's see. Just kill me for God's sake! <laughs> but anyway, I am gonna I am gonna stick uh, some something in just in case. Uh, may as well play a land just in case, and then uh, tap a, a forest and four other cards. One, two, uh, three, four to bring in this guy just in, just in case you survive for some miracle. <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> What? I can't do. I physically <laughs> cannot take part in the game. I'm going to attack with with everything except Kaos. Okay. Oh well done. You've had to take activated my trap card, which oh. is Andrew. Oh. Hey. Oh, but wait, wait! Before I do, let's tap him and see what this was. Uh, oh no, uh, that's the wrong. Hey. Uh, oh uh, yeah, it was a Colossus. Wow. Oh. Oh. Well, we're, we're one for one. One for one. One for one. No yeah. tea for anyone. No tea for it. No tea. The stalemate continues. Fun. Least of all these <laughs> there. I <Yeah>. hate Laurie. <laughs> okay, John and Blair. Get Look how close one. I got him. Look how close <laughs> I got oh, him. It was so tense. Oh. It was so you. tense. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm, I'm sorry I destroyed you. you. I did check if it was okay. You did. I was very gentlemanly about the whole thing. Oh, I was just petty the whole time. <laughs> that wasn't petty. You were. And so am I. <laughs> Mostly you. Game recognised uh, game, all right, when it comes to bad. <laughs> well, that brings our game of Magic the Gathering Commander to an end. Thank you so much to Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to find out more about Magic the Gathering and specifically these decks that we were playing with today, you can get them by following the link in the video description down below. Thank you also so much to Wally from Hi. Chad Magic for being here and doing the rules. Oh. With us. But join us next week on Board Game Club where we're going to be playing So Clover. We will see you then. Three, two, one, get on board! Get on board.